It's I Castle Brightwood. Now there was Castle, a, uh, there was a Castle Brightwood at Mirrorstone talking to his sister at a campfire right. or something. Yeah. You see, you guys have arrived at Mirrorstone. Please reappraise us of the sitch. Hey, uh, just quick thing. Uh, I don't see the map yet. Is that is that on your end, or is that am I supposed to click something here? I mean, you can it's... open it up if you want. I haven't opened it because oh, you okay. guys are at a static We're only at the right now. We're only at the gate. Okay, that's Chris, no, that's fine. I, I just couldn't remember if it automatically popped up or not. You were saying so. It will if I push it to you. Cool. All right. Um. <laughs> So yeah, you guys just walked into the the courtyard, saw a bonfire with a bunch of giant bodies being <laughs> thrown into it by a frost giant, and uh, had exchanged a few words with Theralus. Wait a second. Wait, what were the bodies? Giants. Giant bodies. Yes. Headless. Did Teclas, did Teclas introduce us yet? Yeah, I'm a, I thought I thought we were only had just seen them. I didn't think we talked. No, about we them. just walked in. Yeah. So, yeah. We didn't talk oh, to her. Right. Right. So we walked. We walked in and we saw a giant putting he bodies, walked, other giant bodies, yeah. into a fire. He's okay, uh, cool. he's sitting next to this bonfire of giant bodies. Uh, um, and Theralus had said, "Well, as I live and breathe, what brings my brother back to our ancestral home? It's that's sporting a new look too." Behind Albrecht. Mother said you were heading south. <laughs> Did she? Um, a while back. What? Hold on. I'm gonna like, climb off my horse and pass it off to one of the uh, stable servants to take off. And they take um, off the horses from you guys and walk them over to the stables. I'll tell them to uh, go ahead and throw the giant head up on the wall. Hi. Hi, giant. Theralus nods in appreciation. She says, the more the merrier, I suppose. So you've been busy. What's yeah. all this? Well, come, come. We'll, we'll go inside where it's more uniformly warm and uh, we can catch up. Indeed. Yeah. We walk past I kind the of, giant. Uh, I kind of eye the giant and ask, yeah. <laughs> before yeah, we uh, do that. I, I, walk, I walk the widest this? circle around the giant. <laughs> Uh, as, as she's leading you guys away, the, the giant is just kind of, like, watching you go and, like, gives you the, the what-up nod. I do it back to him. I just stare at and him. Then, uh, <laughs> greetings. And then, uh... Greetings! The giant, uh... <laughs> uh -oh, greetings. Uh -oh, here comes his high school giant. <laughs> oh, wait, I got something I want to say to him and, and giant, too. The group is, is moving on. Oh, okay. I just meant that I just said that as we walked. Sure. I'm being friendly. To I want to give him the wink and the nod. He doesn't say anything. He just, he just watches as you go. Um, so Theralus leads you inside the castle. And uh, she uh, she takes you guys into a, a side chamber where there's like um, a couple bookshelves filled with books and a few hunting trophies mounted on the wall. A couple chairs and a roaring fireplace. Hmm. She invites you all to, to sit down. I want to take okay. the chair close to the fireplace. I take a seat. Is your cold I say, yeah. Sister, allow me to introduce you to my <laughs> companions. Uh, this is Lorgar, Lena, Albrecht, and Idrahil. I'm sitting it's at a pleasure chair. to meet you all. Good Any evening, my lady. My brothers is a friend of mine. I'm sure, we'll become Hello, great friends. Noble I sister. bat my eyes. I don't know if friend is. I think that's a pretty strong word. Associate, maybe. She uh, she starts <laughs> pulling off her her gloves, mm. and uh, and opens up a uh, a covered mm. tray that has some some tea and biscuits on it. She offers she offers it to you guys. Is there clotted cream and jam? No. <laughs> there are no. preserves. Oh, let's do it up. Preserves. I mean, uh, thank you very much for the uh, provisions. It has been a long journey. Please, of course, of course. please thank you. I can't see. So, so what brings you up back to uh, back to the north? I don't heading know. Toward, um, at the moment, we're heading toward Mirabar. 
caught wind of a contract on some scoundrel that pays enough to uh, pays enough to grease our adventure along a little ways. Oh, that, and, uh, uh, that horrible guy? Yeah, I saw the uh, the bounty postings. Hmm. What's his name? Is it a weasel or a weevil? We, the weevil? I don't know. Uh, he had some nickname that was something like that. Which, Regardless, it won't matter much longer. Then we will be heading south. We really, uh, came to sleep in a bed for the night on our travels. Well, you certainly have plenty around here. No However, more. Ask about the giant. Yes. <laughs> I do want to ask about that giant. <laughs> Who is that giant? <laughs> she laughs. And, uh, she says, of course, of course. That's, uh, that's Harshnag. Uh, we came across him uh, not but a few days ago. Uh, we'd gotten some reports from the hunters of giant sightings out in the wilderness to the northeast. Uh, so I assembled some of the, the veterans and went out. And uh, uh, we, we found um, two giants fighting each other and two more dead on the ground. And uh, the surviving giant was a uh, harsh nag. And he, he spoke to us <laughs> in common afterwards. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he told us that uh, he was purging his kin of the north. What? And, uh, mm. He offered his services Very to uh, to clean out the, the remaining giants in the area, and we couldn't turn that down. Mm. How uncharacteristically generous. Not if he's simply a member of a rival, part of the Ordning. Mm. Perhaps he has some information on the Ordning. She kind of yeah. points at Edgar Hill. She's like, yeah, he said something about some kind of Odining or Ordning or whatever. <laughs> The Ordning sister, we found out from a friendly, a, a cloud giant of a friendly disposition, that it uh, was the holy writ set forth by the giant god that kept the giants in a strict caste system and at bay. And it is. Cloud since, giant, you say? It seems like good giants aren't all that rare. Perhaps not as rare as we thought. Hmm. Well, you've kept yourself busy. Father would be proud. Yeah, well. <laughs> the old man's dick. tactics still work. Well, they are effective. He sends his love, by the way. As yeah, I'm sure. Mother. I saw them both in uh, Neverwinter recently. Oh, good. <clears throat> Have you learned How's anything Drusilla? else? Drusilla... Uh, <laughs> was, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> there was a oh? fair bit of uh, drama. Um, no. I can... That was his thing. I can explain it to you later. It's a long story. Why don't you explain Fair it enough. over dinner? I can. I can do that. And um, I'll, I'll just kind of run her through basically the whole, hey, Drusilla was locked up by dad, and so I made a deal with this cool sword and show her oh my, my cool boy. sword. and <laughs> Show her my sword. She, and, uh, uh, she nods appreciatively. In exchange uh, for Drusilla's connection to Tiamat being severed, I am now uh, hanging out with this guy, this here sword guy. Did you, you know, sometimes you're more like dad than he realizes. Oh. You know, I'll take that as a compliment for now. I <laughs> meant it as one. <laughs> <laughs> well. She's got um, two swords. Yes, Theralis is an accomplished wielder of the blade. She shoots you a wink. <laughs> I wink back. <laughs> she wasn't winking to you. <laughs> it was me, right? <laughs> yeah, but it was a uh, a more like confident sort of, of wink rather than like a, a flirtatious what? wink. I have maybe two swords we, maybe, too. 
Maybe we could like trade tips sometime because I got this new sword and I'm not very we good could, with it. We could compare. And, like, I could show compare you swords. how to shoot a bow, and you could show me some cool sword things. Unfortunately, my duties about the castle keep me rather occupied, especially now that Harshnag's going to be leaving our company. Ah, leaving is he? As he yeah, arrived. he was uh, just telling me right as you arrived, actually, that. Uh, Apparently, some ancestors of his built some kind of giant oracle up in the spine, and he wanted to go and inquire about the ordning. Um, I immediately uh, stand up. I would also like yeah, to we inquire need to go. about that as well. well that's, uh, that's, not, that's not be rude. I'm, I've already stood up, and I'm already walking out the door. We need to <laughs> go talk to this giant. Sister, yeah. uh, entertain our guests. We will be right back. <laughs> yeah. What do you well, mean? Uh, yes. Well, oh, I am uh, hurriedly oh, walking because yeah. <laughs> she is is bewildered as you guys walk out. Uh, yeah, I'm going. As you you roll back outside, um, you can see that it's begun to snow, and um, her stag is lobbing one of the the bodies onto the bonfire. That Ooh, looks all right. fun. <laughs> Har uh, Harshnag, I'm told your name is, and that you yeah, coming. He kind of like turns and looms over you, uh, and he says, "That's me." My name is Teclas Brightwood. I'm brother to Theralus, who you've already met and been working with. She's a good lass. Yes. Yes, indeed she is. Uh, I'm told you have some insight into the ordning and some oracle here in the north. He, uh, he kind of grumbles and he says, Mm, yes, my ancestors built the Eye of the Allfather to the north among the mountains. I intend to go and seek its wisdom. Mm. Would you care to have some company for such a visit? Ooh. What is your interest in the Eye of the Allfather? Well, we have been seeking a reason behind the shattering of the ordning we were put upon this path by a cloud giant named zephyros who had spoken to some beings on another plane that named us specifically and said that we would be able to aid in the restoration of the ordning yeah he seems to to mull this over and uh, he says, I don't know of any Zephyros, but I do know that the Giants will continue to fight among themselves until the Ordning is reestablished. And while it's fun to just lay waste to them at every opportunity, oh, God, yes. I think for the, the long-term safety and stability of the North, a long-term solution should be sought. We are of one mind there. Very well. So, if you wish to accompany me to the Eye of the Allfather, uh, more heads are certainly better than just one. Very well. I appreciate you uh, accepting our request. Well, In exchange, I ask that you keep its location secret. I will take it to my grave. Upon our honor. Upon my honor. Mm -hmm. Upon all of the <laughs> honors involved. <laughs> Very well. I intend to set out at first light. Oh, boy. That was when we that. intended to set out as well. Shit's moving fast. The weevil can wait. Oh this man, but that was money. <laughs> oh, we have money. Knowledge is a form of currency. Yeah, okay, nerd. Hey, listen, youngling. 
Don't fucking start with that shit. <laughs> By the way, uh, here's a sweet picture of Harshnag. That's oh, not us. Dick. Who are those strangers? Uh, the Asian girls. Just insert yourself into that party. <laughs> okay, gonna MS paint that up later. Okay, well, uh, with that, Teclis, is there an armory and supplies that we can get for this trip that you know of in Maristone? Hmm. Castle uh, has an armory and, like, stores and stuff for the soldiers. We have some equipment and things here. Why would we need... What do you need? I don't know. Do you right, how long you get for this? Magic item in the basement? Yeah, Harshanak speaks up and says, I suggest climbing here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I have to find that. Let's... Let us do that. Hmm. Something that might temporarily increase my strength would be good for that, because I am still weak as fuck. There Why you don't are. you do some push-ups? Yeah, and hey, Lena, how many push-ups are you going to need to do from now until whenever we reach this place to suddenly be a proficient ice climber? <laughs> oh, climbing? I took athlete. Yeah, look at it's fine. I'm cool. fine. Cool, I'll just ride on your back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you right, let's go carry get... me. Let's, uh, Teclis, do you think we should inform your sister of this change of plans? And, yes, uh, definitely. And prison ourselves for this trip. Definitely. She should have an idea of where we're going to be and where we're heading, so we'll provide her with our general itinerary. But I doubt we're heading to Mirabar uh, until after this. Sorry, we don't want to hold up Harshnag. Uh, Harshnag says we'll be heading into the Valley of Cadron again. Do we know what this is? Yeah, do I know anything about this? We're going to the we Valley know that it's, uh, it's, it's vaguely Mirabar's... to the east of Mirabar. Yeah. Man, Harshnag looks dope. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I just no, got a picture of Feralis up. Mm. Let me look at the uh, the map here. Yeah, that's past Mirabar. <laughs> yeah, so if you look at the map here, uh, you can see the, the Valley of Cadron follows no. the east of Mirabar. Okay. Well, that certainly looks treacherous as fuck. Yeah. Hmm. But okay. Can I go ask Theralis where I would find climbing gear, if any? So I can start investigating. Oh uh, yeah, you go back to uh, where you last saw her in the, the little study, and she's not there. Then I investigate for Theralis. <laughs> uh, okay, make an investigation check. Tracking my sister through your fucking. Would it be survival? I'm tracking her. I don't know. Uh, what are you tracking her with? Her scent. <laughs> yeah, sure. You fucking sniffing around the study. Maybe. We could just we <laughs> see her <laughs> and her swords. We could always use those giant rods we have to locate objects of her swords and find her. Damn it, this is easier ways to do this. <laughs> oh, listen, man. <laughs> Just telling you, we have the technology. Make an investigation check. <laughs> She's under the chair. You, uh, you kind of, like, wander around the halls for a little bit. Um, although you are pulled towards the kitchens from the smell of food. And, uh... When you, you push open the door, you see that there's a few cooks bustling about uh, making something, and Theralis is actually, like, ordering them about. Hi! She, uh, she turns and she says, Oh, hello. I was just uh, getting dinner whipped up. Teclis hasn't spoken to her yet, right? What, since you left? I mean, like, she doesn't know we're, we're leaving yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's been a slight change of plans. We're actually going to be accompanying Hoshnag, uh out next morning. Oh. And uh, at 
at his suggestion, I've gone to look for some climbing gear. I wonder if you might have any here, where I might find it. Uh, you might check with uh, the, the barracks. The, the quartermaster there might have something that you could use. Certainly rope. All right. Well, that's a good place to start, I suppose. Yeah, he'll, he'll I... set you up with whatever you need. All right. Who am I looking for again? Oh, you're looking for Tam, the quartermaster in the state. Tam. I go find Tam. All right. Uh, you head out towards the uh, the barracks. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? I want to go with uh, any, any barrack stuff. Any barracks things. Yeah. Logo's just uh, strapping yeah, helmets to himself, like Doom <laughs> style. <laughs> just putting the armor pieces on him. I guess I'll go as well, just because I need to get some climbing spikes and stuff. I was going to bring it all with me. Okay, fine. I but thought I you'd want to spend some time with your sister. Yeah, I want to go hang out with my sister. Yeah. Jesus, all right. man, you got one night. Tell her about your uh, adventure. You find her in the kitchens, uh... Tell her how cool we are. The, uh, the cooks, like they're, uh, they're grilling up a pig, it looks like. Mmm. Nice. I'm just gonna, you know, kind of idly talk to her. Give her a little bit more of an expanded rundown of everything we've done. And, Tell uh, her. from Nightstone onward. Tell her that you're sure, uh, at one point, in fact, when you first walk in and start talking to her, she, uh, she wraps her knuckle on your breastplate... And uh, she says, "So you giving up on all that magic mumbo jumbo, huh?" Oh no, no, I can, no, <laughs> oh, I can still can just do leave all that. Fearless instead of techless. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can still do all that and more. And uh, oh, no shit. now I can use this, and then I show her the cool shadow sword. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. Seems like I you've been know. busier than me, even with the giants. Tell her about the time you screamed a lot. Well, she only You're sees... off at the barracks. <laughs> she's, yeah. she's shouting across my, uh... the courtyard. <laughs> I, I, um, I, yeah, I kind of, I tell her, uh, it's the battle of Tribor, been, man. It's certainly been interesting. The fucking, if nothing else. Well, while well, you're, uh, you're recounting. In your terror, she she in kind uh, tells you what's been going on with uh, the castle, uh, which has mostly been nothing. Although as the the giants have been coming more unruly, it's been driving the Utgard barbarians out of their their homes in the north, and they've been becoming more of a problem lately. You remember this as being the the tribes in particular uh, that your father so brutally persecuted. Mm-hmm. Are those the ones that, like, Albrecht's descended from or something? I don't know. Well. Uh, there's the, um, the Utgard Barbarians, which are south of the Spine, and then the Reghead Barbarians, which are north of the Spine in, like, Icewind Dale. So, uh. um, being that Albrecht is from Icewind Dale, it would make sense that he's descended from Regheads, but... Mm. I just, I just brew beer, man. I just, uh... Been doing it for so long, politics. I like to stay out of it. <laughs> they haven't. Um, have you gathered any intelligence on them? Have they rallied under a lead? Are they vying for control? No, not that we could tell. It mostly just seemed like uh, like war parties from various tribes raiding caravans and the like out of Mirabar. We've done our best to, to patrol the roads, but with the giants and whatever, you know. Mm, no. Well, I know many of our men have been taken south to Neverwinter. Indeed. Listen. Well, you do have access to our funds. If it becomes necessary to raise fresh, raise fresh levies, you have my authority to do so. <laughs> she, uh... She smirks and she's like, I've actually already put in a request, but thank you. Well done. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> Nobody cares, Declan. Well, <laughs> if they raise an army and start to move southward, you know what to do. Head spikes walls. Yeah, 
damn bougie fuck. I hope it doesn't come to that, though. Although, it doesn't seem like that's the case. This is more of, like, a displacement. Yes. If... Hmm. The best we can do if refugees start moving to the south is give them what aid we can. I don't know Within what barbarians you'll find sure that you extremely uh, vet those refugees. claim they are refugees. But, Not uh, many. But any who move across our lands peacefully without intent of raiding or pillaging. You, know, you don't want to give them the impression that all they can expect from us is violence. Well, unfortunately, most of what we find of them, what traces we find, are raiders, like raids and the leftovers. So, hmm. I mean, if they're not if they're not doing that and just moving through, we don't even see it. Right. You find that fucking rope yet? Mm. I told you you can't trust those refugees. Well, oh fuck my pencil. You've been holding it together. Unfair, I, but true. I know that you can do so. Ah, oh, thanks. I can say the same of you, what, volunteering to go up into the spine? That's madness, man. Something's gotta happen. Something's... Someone has to do something. This is... And me, me alone. I'm the one man to do it by myself. <laughs> I mean, the people who have, who you met, who've accompanied me, are extremely talented. Three giants. And very, very, they certainly very, seem capable. They are. And uh, we've accomplished a lot together. And I suspect if we keep at it, we'll continue to. If we can find a way to restore the ordning, you can probably say goodbye to the giant attacks. Yeah, good riddance. Indeed. So, anything else cool? Making any new friends? Any other new friends that aren't giants? Any lovers? <laughs> yeah, tell her your, your friend Lena is single. No, just uh, holding down the fort. You know, and you guys continue into small talk. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Lena and the crew, you guys roll up into the barracks, and uh, after asking directions, you kind of like led to a side room where there is like um, a, uh, a cage set up, like blocking off half the room and behind the cage is a bunch of crates and equipment and stuff and uh, there's a small desk up against the table and uh, an old dude sits at it scribbling away at some, some parchment Tam oh, oh. He, he, uh, he looks up from his, his writing and uh, turns around to, to look at you over his shoulder says, oh hello he turns around and stands up what can I do for you Hi, uh, my companion and I are here with Teclas Brightwood. We were told we could come here and requisition some equipment from you. Oh, yes, young Teclas, okay. Uh, yeah, what do you need? Uh, we were looking for climbing gear. Ropes, hooks, maybe. Anything Fire you might have. Hmm. I think I've got some of that laying around. And he, uh, he produces a, uh, a small key um, from his pocket and unlocks the, uh, the big cage door and uh, swings it open and walks inside and starts digging through some of the boxes. And uh, he's like, Oh yeah, I got a bunch of uh, bunch of extra hempen rope over here. Uh, looks like this is an entire box full of pythons, so I guess you can have Perfect. as many of those as you want. I give Perfect. the heavy things to Lorgar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go and I take an entire one of the heavy things. Lift it. I pick Lift it up. <laughs> Pick it up. I just did. Uh, so this is like a, uh, a shoebox sized uh, wooden crate that's just full of metal pythons. And like it it, it's heavy, but it's not. Yeah, I, I just step in front of Lorgar to pick it up. Oh, thank you, Ed. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> You're welcome. 
<laughs> nice. Um, I would grab like some. You guys already, most some of you already have rope, right? Yeah, I've got a burglar's kit, but I you know, don't. I'll, 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 grab, is separate. I'll grab another fifty feet for all of us. Would it be easier just to say that each one of us gets a climber's kit? <laughs> I don't uh, know, uh, hold on, I'm I'm looking at the yeah because yeah, each one like, is what, a, are, what are the components of a climber's yeah. kit? I've got special pipe, yeah, gloves, and a harness. Gloves. Yeah, we harness. probably already have some of them. Right, but it works like a thieves' kit, where it has a concrete effect in D and D, which it, you can't fall more than twenty. No, I know feet. it's 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 like it's like a tool. <clears throat> I was going to say, because if that's what Sagan meant by the giant saying you should have climbing gear is have climber's kits. I just mean you should probably have to... some, some stuff to, to climb with. Otherwise, I think um, I'm covered. Let's see. So the climber's kit has uh, special pythons. I don't know what that means. Boot tips, gloves, and a harness. Yeah. Like, I already so have a thieves kit, so I already have... So it, and... it doesn't have... have it doesn't have the rope, but it has like all the metal bits and stuff. We can give our we got our own rope. Just Tam have yeah. the harness. Um, so what I can do is uh, let's put So once Ed walks away with the shoebox size crate looking all proud of himself, then I direct Lorgar to pick up <laughs> the big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get a bunch of rope and a bunch of those kits or whatever. I've got like a hundred feet of rope. Mm. Uh, did I've you got, want to more, we'll more than that? We should have like way more than that, honestly. I mean, I've got 200 feet of rope. It's two different kinds. Uh, they also have a couple of grappling hooks. I know that you have at least one, but I'll grab a bunch of hooks. I'll I take feel a bunch like of we hooks. We should all me. nowadays have grappling hooks because grappling hooks are great. Yep. Oh, I've already got a hook. So, <laughs> so four grappling hooks. I don't see that here in D&D. Yeah, I need one. Is that I'll an actual it. like thing? Yeah, I have one. I'll grab a hook for everybody else. A grappling hook? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. I. I guess I just don't see it in the equipment shit. Should be in the. Uh. uh yeah, it's under G for grappling. Adventuring gear. Yeah, it's adventuring gear. Hey, you know what though? Uh. So, how much rope did you want? I've already got. Uh. Two hundred. I have. I have fifty on me as well. I, I don't have like a grappling two different hook kinds. Well, I, want, silk, I want 100 feet. I got silk and hemp. At least. For me, I can carry it. I got the, the capacity. <laughs> so we'll just say 150 feet. Sure. sure. Give you an extra 50 to, to play around with. Yep. Uh, Alright. You know, if we're hammering in those pythons. Oh yeah, you'll probably want some hammers. Yeah, I mean, that's what I think... Uh, yeah, never mind. I can yeah, it's not part of the, the kit. With the yeah, but I think it's, it's understood. Because the text of the climber's kit just says you can use it whenever you're doing something. Right. I think that, I think that's the idea behind that, is that you don't have to completely roleplay everything if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, so we got a kit, the, the hooks, hooks, and the rope. Is there anything else you guys can think of you want? Uh, do we have anything... Does any of us have, like, a, a telescope or spyglass? No. Come on. I found it. A climber's kit includes steel pythons, yep. uh, boot tips, gloves, and a harness. I think that's all I need then. Where's the harness? Unless you need anything, Lena? I mean, I'm, I'm asking if Tam has harnesses. They're part of the kit. The okay, kit. Then, then I'll. Yeah, then we got the kit. So we're, Yeah, then no, I just put it in your inventory road. that all of us have a climber's kit. Fuck it. I'm just going to tie myself to the movie. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to. Push this through. To you. I got it. I <coughs> for it. Boom. Send Tie the, myself uh, the to the rod, sheet. and I'll fucking hammer in the pythons. What is the distance when you throw something? What governs that? Your dex, I guess. That's kind of up in the air for the. Yeah, I think it's DM side. decision, like on what you're doing. Okay. Like, are you throw throwing like a, a big feet. thing, or are you throwing? No, I just bought those hand axes last time, and I haven't used them yet. Oh, it's uh, there's it's twenty sixty. Sixty feet's probably max. Yeah, sixty feet Some, or max. Something I'm about that weight. And uh, throwing axes. 
because I have them as tough. Yeah, okay, thank you. It's the same. It's the same as daggers. Yep. We can just stick those climbers kit in the bag of holding, right? Yeah. All bundled up. That way we can pull them out when we need them. Yep. Dope. Uh, word. I put them up in the uh, the party sheet so you can copy them over to your notes or whatever. Oh, you know what? I'm saying. Yeah. Before we, uh, as we're divvying up the equipment, <laughs> I want to measure out a little dime bag's worth of pixie dust for everybody. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, wow. It, it fucking, when you drag it over, it like subtracts it from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah so cool. you, can, you can split it up as you like. Oh. That's cool. Yeah. I'll take a rope. Sweet. I give I, I pass out a bump of pixie dust and some small bags to everybody just in case. Alright, so you all have one dose of pixie dust. <laughs> Actually, uh, let me see if I can look that up in here because I'm sure there's a know if you here. wanted to uh do stuff like this. I mean I could have showed you some places. Uh, this is if you in, fall, uh, you idiot. Back in yeah. Neverwinter. <laughs> Yeah, like it'll, it'll be nice because if you're really lucky, you'll fly when you and start you're falling. Unlucky, and if you're unlucky, you'll die as you're asleep. It'll, your corpse will turn <laughs> invisible and it won't look like you made a big mess. Or you'll pass out and die peacefully. I feel like the, I feel like it'd just be smarter to use our climbers kits. I'm saying if it fails and you are falling to your death, they don't fail. Uh, how many charges of pixie dust do you have? There were seven left, and I handed out four, so there's, I think, three three in the bag now. All right, so on the party sheet, I just made uh, seven pixie dust available for you guys to pull from. Well, I got the bag, so I'll just pull them. Did back. anyone put uh, the shit in the bag holding yet? I'll, I'll enter it. <clears throat> Wait, where are we go. dragging I this have, from? The party inventory thing? Yeah, it's dust. sick. Yeah, it's great. You just drag it right into your inventory. That subtracts okay. it. I should do that. It's nice. Wait, what? I, I'm, I'm confused. What are we dragging into our inventory? If you go to the party sheet and go to the inventory tab, you can just pull stuff out of the stuff that I put there on yeah. your sheet. Oh. It's still you know, good. You can, you can grab it out of the pile and put it in your inventory page. There you go. You did it. You took one. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm just saying, if you guys want to have a hit of that pixie dust on hand as a last resort, I took one. I took one. I'm not. I'm not one. fucking. I'm not gonna dive after you and shove it in your face if you fall. No, man. Actually, you know what? This might be. Now that I know that that's how that's, this works, we could probably use this as the bag of holding, like you had originally planned to. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, we'll eventually just. And then, that. like, whenever you fucking find whatever from a fight or whatever, then it just goes into the bag, and you can. Yeah, I think that'd be the best. Yeah, that's a good idea. Other time, because you're gonna have to copy over the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't do it right now, but I'll do it later. There's only a few things left in there that we it would take, like. There's one potion of greater healing. You can one run, potion of passive nice. resistance. All right, let's just do that then. I'll yeah, we'll do it later. Anything. There's nothing in there that we need urgently, unless we want to give out that potion of greater healing. It probably shouldn't just sit in there. Akito, are you going to take your climbing kit and stuff? Yeah. You got it. What are you giving to me? I was saying we should probably give you the potion of greater healing because you're normally in the back line and can run up and give it to someone that needs it. Yeah, and I can move quick. Yeah. I need to get potions. Uh, I'm putting them up in the, the party sheet. You want me to grab it out of there? I just see two entries for potion. Oh, hold on. Uh, there. I'll take the healing potion and hold on to it. Right. So we divvied that all up then? Yeah, there's a potion of there's uh, the rods. Yeah, everything else is in there. The rods? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we have the extra ten, rods. The of, fucking uh, 10 rods that we have. <laughs> yeah. Listen, sometimes you just need to locate shit, man. Here 
I need to figure out if I get another spell slot yet. <clears throat> there. Okay, so that's everything in the bag. Alright. Minus so, the kindling. Akito needs to grab that fucking... his yeah, shit out of there. Where the heck is it? It's in the party, party sheet, inventory. inventory tab. Put it in your own inventory. We're, we're dividing it all up. So there's four pixie dust charges left. There's there's three. Three. No, there's three left in the bag. Four in the bag. There were seven left. I gave each the four of you each one. But I just gotta drag this. Albrecht probably uh, didn't take his. Yeah, Albrecht didn't take his. When I get his, just the red drag thing. My... The little yeah. dragon head. Just, just drag, drag one of the dragon yeah, to drag your one. own inventory. Yeah. You gotta be and then it goes right in. Page. As much as I've bitched, I'll say that the inventory management in this is far superior to roll twenty. It's 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 simpler. Yeah. Where should I take? Uh, I'll see you have like what, like three rods? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I yeah, think we do. that's it. Yeah, you got the kit, you got the hook, you should be good. Yeah. <laughs> sure, take I'll a rod. Run. Who cares? And if we put the rod, platinum whatever. pieces into the party even of uh, money. He took all the rods. I only took one of the rods. Oh, never mind. Uh, the money just gets split up between you. Oh, you already did it? Because it's easiest. Get the rest of it. Can we just say I have the cool lock then? Sure, I have the You still did. Your inventory. I didn't take it from you. I need to. I forgot how to put things in my inventory. One second here. Do I click this thing down here or. Yeah, you click the uh, plus button to add a line. Actually, Where's the I think you, I actually, the no, you, should, you, sh you could just hit enter and add another line to it. It's in the party sheet. You can just drag it over. No. Cool lock? I don't see that it's anywhere in the party lock. sheet. I see unidentified item and unidentified item. Oh, sorry. My bad. Fancy Here. ass lock. There we go. Hmm. Fuck. Cast good need. All right, I think we're good to go then. We have a dinner. Yeah. Dinner with my dinner with Theralis. My dinner with Theralis. <laughs> let's, let's face it, nobody's gonna be having dinner with Theralis. You guys uh, head back to the main keep, and uh, the smell oh, of delicious is. pork draws you to the fest hall where there is a feast laid out. Nice. Uh, Theralis is like bringing in like servants and stuff to set down plates of, of food. Uh, there's a lot of poultry and pig and nice. fruits. Hey, vegetables. can we get our clothes cleaned while we're here? We all smell like ocean water from Luskin. <laughs> Theralis laughs and says, of course. Oh, I, like uh, I, 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 I recount I recount the adventure from my perspective, and I very, very, very elaborately draw out the part where Teclis fell into the river after crawling on his belly across a bridge. Uh, Theralis, uh, <clears throat> kind of like, uh, like tilts her head down at you, and just like, come now, it could have happened to anyone. Hey. Crawled like a snake. Theralis, you remember my my kind of you know crawl that I used to use across logs to get across rivers when we were kids. <laughs> you're, you're How could I forget? You, Teclis. Come on, I, I, I mean, can, you know, I can perfectly imagine the situation. Teclis, you're not you're not helping. She's seen it before. It works. What? It worked, didn't it, the first time? Then the second time, I tried to do it like the rest of you, and I fell in the fucking river. And Come we on. had to pull you out like a dead whale. <laughs> well, I'm sure he didn't weigh like a whale. No. Nah, he's pretty skinny. It's true, he's been doing a lot more running lately. She, uh, she kind of gives shape. him a playful slug on the shoulder <laughs> and says, he's still filling out, give him a break. It's true. <laughs> I haven't gone through second. So are you. Whoa. What? Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? She uh, pointedly ignores the comment. <laughs> Sips from her wine. What do you think about that comment? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
quite don't, rude. Don't mind Let's Adrian. Move on. He's he's really really old. Yeah, he's, he's really super old. old. There, listen, old you fashion. killed any giants? I've killed three giants. What did you say? I said, have you killed any giants? I've killed three giants. I have a successful business. <laughs> Are you all trying to impress me or something? I I'm just asking you, you, you were throwing giants into a fire. I was wondering if you killed any giants. We've killed some giants on the way here. I've slain a few myself, but I don't find it necessary to count their number. Uh huh. Have you ever had Arden's good mead? Ooh, have you? I can't say that I have. Pull out the cask. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> slam it on the in, table. <laughs> are you in for a treat? That's good. You uh, you fill her her empty glass. She empties it first, and then proffers it to you. You fill it up. She uh, she takes a whiff of it, and then a sip, and then a gulp. And she <laughs> she uh, she swallows it down. She's like, like. That is okay. among the finest of meads. Yeah. I can't say that I have a ton of experience, mind you, but it's quite good. Yeah, we're not expanded um, into this territory yet. And then I jokingly said, okay, that's enough, though. Come on, she's a, a real lush. No, I'm giving we don't her want her to... go. <laughs> so, you know uh, here's another glass. Really, what did you think about that comment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Albrecht! Yeah. We should That's enough. Just, we should, you should mind your manners. At least we could do. Mm-hmm. Albrecht, this is one fight you won't win. Myself. So I'll really kick your ass. How do you pronounce the name? Ther- Theris? Theralis. So Theralis, what? Uh, we've had some interesting dealings with your father. Uh, are, she are rolls these, her eyes. Would there? Uh, do you truly believe, as Teclas has assured me, that he is on the side of righteousness? On the side of righteousness. Please. Father is stern and cold and distant and a bit of an ass almost all of the time. <laughs> but he does so in the interest of good, yes. Thank Your you. mom seems nice, though. Mom's great. Seems like a very classy lady. How could she know? She's an elf. Very true. Very true. And much of the wealth and power you've seen of the Brightwood family is relatively new. And Father is the one who propelled us to the position we are in now. Uh, yeah. He's, new he's, money. He's rather <laughs> cutthroat, but. <laughs> Well, I mean, we've our family has been a noble one in these lands for a long time, but they were really poor. Father was victorious in many battles and served the realm very well. Yep, killed a lot of people. Killed a lot, yes, Elbrick killed a lot of people. He did a so, lot of people, good Texas. and bad and medium people. With your new fancy sword, which you have assured me is absolutely not. 100% evil. Do you believe you could uh, outdo your sister in a friendly duel? Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. This is needlessly dangerous to do this <laughs> oh, magic oh, sword. Ah, we have bad things to go to. you want to get the blood pumping? Use these yeah. rods. Show her, show her what you've learned. Use these rods instead. You've come so sacred. far. No, we'll I you. have no I'm doubt. I'm not certain what you guys are saying. I have... Sure. I have no doubt that I would lose, but I would be willing to give it a go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on, Mugar. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thorough seems very amused by this. Um, she says, <laughs> Surely it's not a good idea to go and get your ass kicked the day before you head off into the spine. <laughs> He has depends upon your honor, Tekla. What are the ground rules here? No magic, right? Let's no just wash these idiots. Of course, no magic. All right. Side of blade. All right, I'll, I'll go and I. Are there drinks here? Yeah, yeah. we've got a oh, cask yeah. out. Here you go. Also I got a drink and I sit next to Albrecht and I just kind of cheers him. Yeah. 
There you go. Someone go and die tonight. All right, <laughs> I won't cast haste on myself because that's the, the only girl. thing that I think. It's the only she thing that I think would give me a real, a real wait, wait, wait. chance, but I no, won't. No, 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 no magic. I put no, on my ref shirt. No, like, like I said, I. It's the only thing I think that would give me a real chance, but I won't cast it. That's right. I'm officiating. <laughs> I'm watching you, Brightwood. All right. She would. All right, what is it? Oh boy, what is it? No is magic, be, uh, blunt edge only. This is just going to be childhood all over again. What is it? Just first to submit? Uh, first to three touches. First to How three touches. It, one needs a tip count. Or is it first to call uncle if this is just a playing around thing? This is. Let's make this a tornado tag team match. <laughs> Luchador right. rules. First person to get their mask ripped off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. first, first, first to three touches. First, so first to three hits. Okay. Yeah. Are we doing this right here? Oh, clear the table. <laughs> no, we'll do it in the hall, in the great hall. <laughs> Theralis, uh stands up and like takes a big gulp from her, the rest of her good meat, and throws down the the <laughs> cup, that clatters on the the ground. She says, "No, we're doing this outside." Okay. Yeah. The harsh man can watch. <laughs> Be disappointed in you. She uh, outside. She starts uh, stomping off towards the uh, the courtyard, pulling. Logan, help me carry the help me carry the the, the, the cask out. <laughs> I put it over my shoulder. We're heading out. Uh, Logan, are you okay? It's cold. He's cold blooded. Yep, we're doing it. Let's follow her. Okay. Okay. Techless. All right. Um, here I go. Don't you're fighting for our honor as well. That's right. You're fighting for no, the team. No, he's not. I'm not a no part of Tech this. List, are you going to lose to a girl? Mm. Yes. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys uh, step out much. into the courtyard. Excuse me, Lena. She is a woman. Don't be projecting. <laughs> oh my God. Don't, I know it. These don't, guys. And don't don't be projecting over here. Oh, virtue signaling. <laughs> So you guys uh, walk out into the courtyard. It's dark now, um, and, but the snow is still falling, um, illuminated only oh. by the torchlight. It's Put the Kill the Bill music on. The remains of the, the bonfire where Harshnag's hanging out, who uh, who turns to watch you guys with interest. Hey. Hi. Um, Theralis, watch this. Uh, walks Harshnag, across watch the this. courtyard. It's going to be lit. And pulls two wooden swords out of a barrel and oh, throws one that. towards you, Teclas. Yep. Oh, yeah. we're, doing, we're doing wooden? Oh. It's, oh no, my kendo practice. <laughs> That's okay. No real steel I... the night before you go into the mountains, little brother. All right, but I'll have you know the only sword I can actually physically use is this <laughs> one. <laughs> use this, use this twig. <laughs> she uh she like plants the tip of her wooden sword into the ground and her other hand on her hip and and she says come on now <laughs> i mean stop making it for real <laughs> for the sake okay. of this you can use it as you would use Asher. You're temporarily. Oh, okay. You are temporarily Sweet. proficient in All right, fine. Swords. Fine. I pick up the wooden sword. All right, um, right. And, I, and I spin it around in my hand. Are both combatants ready? <clears throat> Theralis when, cracks her quick, knuckles. Real quick, when we were and a kid... And assumes a defensive stance. When we were kids, Theralis had a I game... I don't care, I've got my hand up. Called, <laughs> adjudicating touches. How many times can we hit Teclas with the stick? You're about to see a, re a reenactment of this all those times. Wonderful. <laughs> First, Fight! She, you need to roll initiative. Let's get it on! Get it on! Yeah, three. <laughs> Logar, Logar LaDouche. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. boy! <laughs> Thales strikes out at you with quick speed. Okay, I got my shield. AC 18. I put that song from the movie in the, uh, 
Discord if anyone wants to listen to it. I listened to Lana five bucks on Terrell. Holy shit! Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> five gold on Terrell. I'll I take that. I'm, put, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put just, ten on my buddy Techless. I just want to see him get beat up. Yo, I'll take that. So I asked right. Lana says go. Um, you can so you kind of scarcely have anymore. time to uh, to raise your sword before your sister lunges at you. Oh. Um, <laughs> and, uh, she she lunges and and slides the the length of her blade down yours as it is uh, coming up to a defensive position, and she angles uh, her her blade off of yours and into your chest. You're faster she, than you used to. Run, dances away. <laughs> I clap appreciatively. All right, I am going to uh, attack with. Uh my sword with wood rune <laughs> here we go wood rune <laughs> get it done oh fuck. what's your skill sword oh uh, that's a hit yeah so uh oh shit oh shit you uh as she dances away you uh you spin and and lunge at her yourself with a, a, a horizontal slash uh which makes she tries to like jump back but you uh you drag the tip of the blade across her stomach Ah! And I go and I, 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 and I, and I, and I look goes, at Lamb and I, or, she sorry, Lorgar. She place a little bit and waggles a finger at you. <laughs> See, I told you, I told you, my buddy's gonna win. <laughs> oh, you get drunk real fast. <laughs> she makes an attack. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> uh, she, she uh she rushes up to you and you lock blades, but she uh she uses her momentum to throw her shoulder into you, knocking you back. And uh, as you are you're pushed back, she kind of like extends the her sword out towards you, uh, pressing the tip against your chest and kind of like pushing you the rest of the way back. Oh wow! I finished my two. drink <laughs> in appreciation from the cast we brought. All right. I'm going to retaliate. Techless, on our honor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, as you are being pushed back from a uh, from body check, you're falling uh, it. You actually hit like a, a patch of ice and lose your footing and fall down. But she, uh, <laughs> She keeps her distance and allows you to rise. Uh, Very kind of but you. as soon as you do, she attacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and, uh, she, uh, she comes at you pirouetting and, like, slams into you with her other shoulder and then rolls around to your back and slaps you on the ass with the flat of her blade and laughs and says, three. <laughs> The winner! She holds I mean, up her arms, uh, one sword and one, uh, uh, triumphantly. Is it, is it any surprise? I told you. You, you hit once. <laughs> and uh, she, continuing, Brightwood champion. <laughs> That's right, this is a Bright victory for Bright. Brightwoods everywhere. You guys are gonna lose She goes up behind you and claps you on the shoulder and she <laughs> says, Looks like you're gonna need some more practice. He sure as fuck does. <laughs> I just laughing to throw the money at. at I say, Techless, good, at good Lord show. Ash. Your sword is impressive, but it appears that uh, your sister uh, still has you eclipsed. I oh, throw the I'm money at Lord I go, you fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> take the money. I'm Did new to this like... game. Really I may be best there. Techless in the Marshall, but if this was a no holds barred <laughs> fight, he would smoke me. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, it's true. I have seen him fight. He makes wonderful. Uh, and then I, I keep laughing. Rage. I go, and it's like, oh yeah, he like throws spells and shit. One time he like evaporated twenty dead bodies. It was crazy. It yeah, was that wonderful. Was that doesn't surprise me. Magic is fucking crazy. Remember that guard you killed? Yeah. Uh, Eight forty. Oh, oh Albrecht. Whoa. <laughs> that, Whoa. That was that was an accident. Your family's murder. What I'm about sorry. that time where you were casting magic, but then all of a sudden you got real scared and just started screaming for like five minutes? Oh, that's happened before. What's uh, what's Horsenang doing during this? Is he still watching? 
Uh, he was watching, and uh, he, he, he kind of. <laughs> when you guys were were cheering, uh, you were hearing like loud thuds. That when you looked over, was him applauding. <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, he was applauding fearless. <laughs> <laughs> Still though. Oh, so old. That was amazing. Well, okay, I want to fight well Techless now. <laughs> you are you are the uh, to... most capable warrior. <laughs> in the we family. all have to fight Techless and beat him up. <laughs> yeah, we have to head out in the morning. <laughs> While this is enjoyable, I have a feeling it would take quite a pace to keep up with our long-legged new friend. Yeah, yeah fun is fun, but you guys should get some rest. I've had rooms made up for you. Thank you. I much appreciate it. I'm, uh, I'm going to clap checklist on the shoulder and say good work. And nice I'm going to go to bed. Thank you, friend. Hey, you know what? You you got up there and you I, gave it your all and you didn't I back put my down. I armor on, Techless. Techless, <laughs> I'm proud of you. She's right. You've done good. Thank you, Lena. I'm <laughs> proud of you, too. The fumble table is amazing, by the way. Like, you don't all... need to be proud of me. <laughs> I'm proud enough of myself. <laughs> I meant of Lena. Lena needs, <laughs> Lena needs to, people to let her know how proud they are of her. She's a growing girl. She has all these needs emotionally, you know. Listen, uh, if you're trying <laughs> to start some shit, it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wise to your fucking game. <laughs> Angry. I'm taking a nice hot bath and uh, I know what you're bed. doing, you piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys, <clears throat> the all the rooms that you have prepared have like its own little fireplace. None of that it. changes the fact that I just saw you get your ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's also bathtubs in all of them. Ooh, yeah, get that the last get time the we had out. salt off of us. <laughs> mm. Uh, there's also servants that take uh, your your clothing and armor to go be washed. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Lena, Lena doesn't. Lena doesn't like uh, the seawater. We all stink. <laughs> yeah. We've been fucking hanging around dead, floating giant corpses in ocean water. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of kind of lucky we didn't get sick. Yeah. I figure we. I, I wouldn't took a bath like in the nearest river the mo first time we slept on the way over here. I don't know. Yeah, what we Paul also the, the most of us stayed at an inn that night, right? Like Yeah, I don't know the hell your problem is. I took a fucking shower. That's just assumed. I didn't realize we got our laundry done there too. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> Man, I could I can just I didn't swim in the Wait, fucking lake. You wanna be clean? Hold on. Are there no sound? Prestige here? station. Prestige Stop station on everybody. Magic. I don't have to touch you. Look Let's at this. Wake up. All the way over here. God. You didn't use your fucking magic on me. I'm not the same as a shower. Yeah. That's true. It's like a ritual. Right I want a bath, not a fucking blow dry. Boom. Do it again. <laughs> Stop it. All right. <clears throat> so you guys uh, sleep through the night. It's quite comfortable and warm. Nice. <clears throat> I sleep in my room. It's cool. My special, my special uh, when you get up in the morning, uh, you find that all of your clothes have been delivered <laughs> outside the your door. poster in your room. Mm. Yeah, with all my Hot Wheels. I'm dressing, admiring my newly cleaned armor without all that. My guardian. official Lucky's Roughnecks little Salt adventure decoder ring is still here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Darius says, be sure to drink your oval tea. <laughs> Uh, there has been um, like uh, like bread and cheese and other like um, salted meats and stuff that'll save for the road have all been prepared for you in like little Sick. parcels. Nice. Your sister's uh, so good, like, Techless. She's so like three much cooler days than of, you. Uh, of rations for all of you that are better oh. than the field kind. She is both. Excellent. Is she there to see us off? Of course. <laughs> wow. So we're heading out. I'm ready. I'm ready as well. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, head out into the courtyard, and you can see the some stable hands are like bringing your horses over. Uh, they've all been like freshly brushed and fed and watered and all that, and they're fresh. Wait, um, chilling out there. Tailless. 
Yes. I'll try not to let him die. Thanks, I appreciate it. (laughs) I don't want to be stuck here ruling this castle forever. If I come back, can you teach me sword tricks? We'll see. Oh my god, I'm so cool. <laughs> I just nod to my neck and go, yes, she is. She, uh, she claps you on the back. As uh, everybody is getting on their horses. Up. As everybody is uh, getting on their horses, I'm going to approach their list and give her a hug. A kiss on the forehead. And, uh... I'm gonna kind of, kind of look at Leonard real quick and be like, "He's off. She's all smitten over you. <laughs> this is the nicest I've seen her be to anyone." <laughs> yeah. Make a perception check. <laughs> I'm gonna make a perception check. And do it. What? Do all it. right, fine. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it. 17. 13. Hey, Andrew Hell. See this 10 yeah. gold? It's yours. That? Is that how much you won? It's mine now. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Wait, how much did you lose on Teglas? 10. Well, that's not bad. No. I'm just keeping that 10 gold separate from the rest of my gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a little section dedicated and I, to Ryder Hills. And I, 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 where I, is it? Uh, I, catch, um, <laughs> I go fuck yourself. I catch, where did uh, you say that that gold is kept? <laughs> As I catch that, I, I, I kind of look at Theralis. And I, uh, I, I look at what she's looking at. And then I go, oh. Hmm. Good choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm good looking. <laughs> she, uh, do you do that loud enough for her to hear? <laughs> just, just <laughs> like for, uh, her. just for Theralis to hear. <laughs> uh, she looks away, and you think you catch like a tinge of red to her cheek. I hear, her, I hear <laughs> that. I can I hear just a murmuring. Heartbreak after heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> can I hear just a little bit of that? Can I roll perception or something? God damn. Sure. Fuck it. All right. I also did that so because I want to remember how to roll shit. Because I don't remember. Sure. All right, there it is. Perception. Oh, what? I can't wait to throw my baby hammers at people. All hammers. <laughs> Damn it! Why did it? Hammers. <laughs> I like throwing hammers. <laughs> like in the palm of your hand. I'm basically gonna be like one of the hammer bros from fucking Mario. You Brown. can uh, you can tell that they're they're speaking, but you can't really make out what they're saying. I look right <laughs> at her and kind of just go, I kind of like nod my head up and and smile broadly. Okay, you and fucking wink. Weirdo. She uh, she shoots you a puzzled look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stop smiling. I just keep smiling, and then finally just look away. She Ooh. she waves. I'm I'm unaffected. <laughs> she shrugs. Um, I uh, I uh, say my farewells to her and um, promise I'll do my best to return as soon as I can. Be better. Harshnag, meanwhile, uh, like standing up and like grips his giant axe and pulls it up off the ground and like slings it onto his shoulder. He seems ready to go. All right, let's let's do it. Yeah. All right. Are you in party oh, formation? Oh, oh. You guys uh, are here where the arrow's pointing. Mm-hmm. We don't need to navigate. Harshnag knows where he's going. He does. Uh, right. Nonetheless, he leads you uh, along the road. Sure. Um, and uh, you guys end up do crossing any, the... Do uh, any bandits assail us? <laughs> 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 so, 
Let's get those guys. <laughs> That'd be a really dumb group of bandits. Yeah, I can't it's really see same, bandits. It's the same ones from Tribor. <laughs> we got them this time. We got them this time. We drank them all the way. Oh, God. <laughs> they, they have a giant now. <laughs> so you guys uh, uh, link back up with the Blackford Road and uh, cross the Black Raven River. Okay. <clears throat> um... You guys uh, push on through the day. It's uh, it's cold. It's been lightly snowing all day, and um, towards uh, the evening, um, Harshnag, uh, who is just kind of like following behind you guys, suddenly crouches down and uh, and snarls at you guys, and, uh, and he says, "Trouble up ahead." How did we not hear that? I stopped. Immediately, he uh, he yeah. just kind of like points to his eyes. <laughs> can I, He's can tall. I use, can see further. Can I, oh well, yeah, no shit. Can I use primeval awareness to sense giants nearby? Besides Harshnag. Harshnag, <laughs> what do your giant eyes see? Uh, yeah. So Lana, you you use primeval awareness to feel out for giants. Um, I'm getting a strong and, uh, reading. <laughs> you you detect uh, Harshnag, but nothing else. Okay, um, so and uh, Harshnag himself says, um, "Raid caravan." Oh, raided, 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 raided caravan. Are the raiders raided. are still there. Raided. He nods. And the raiders we'll take there. a look then. How many? Uh, he shrugs and uh, says, "Can I get closer?" Oh, Uh, yeah, make a stealth check. Sure. Where's that at? Bring it. 19. Alright. Uh, hang on a second here. I'm optimizing the size of everything. I realize I don't need much map open. The hell are you doing, Akita? Nothing. He's playing with bubble wrap. Because whatever you're doing is is bleeding through into your fucking mic. <laughs> it whatever you're be, doing, it might I just be you. interference. Uh, so Lena, you uh you sneak up along the side of the road, um, using the the trees and shrubbery as cover, <clears throat> and uh, you get up close enough. Um, you can see that uh, there's a caravan with two wagons, one pushed off the road, um, a lot of bodies, and a lot of barbarians. How many? Uh, can you... I try and count them? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you don't have an exact count because they're kind of moving around behind like the wagons and in front of them and whatever, but you think that there's more than a dozen. Yeah. And they all just look like human barbarians. Uh, yeah, in fact, they look like this. Oh. Hey. Alright. Uh, I go back to the party. Alright. What did you see? There's at least a dozen uh, raiding, taking, picking apart that caravan. I can't see any survivors. Mm, so vengeance then. I was going to say we game? can just walk around him. Is that possible? How can we see what? They're already dead. dead. What are we going to do? Someone's alive in there. I can't see inside the wagons. <laughs> Even a single child could be alive. Take a yeah, detour dude. if you want, but I'm going back. I'm gonna go with the group, man. She's cranky. Well, I relay the information to Harshneg, if in case you didn't hear already. Say he can uh, feel free to join us. us. Or best know. case, best case scenario, we find survivors. <clears throat> Worst case scenario, whatever we can find there will serve us better than them. We're going up to take a look. I look at Tuckless and I go. Good enough for me. Let's do it. You'll be joining us. 
Uh, Harshnag indicates to you that he's going to uh, flank around from the south. Mm, I give yeah, him a I'm tiny like. thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, he starts stalking off the road. Well then. I like that giant. Let's go. Alright. When you get close, bring my boys. Uh, I yep, cast haste. On myself. I'm on a self. And on... Um, I'm, hold on. Real quick. 20, 20 I am minute? going... Yeah, I'm gonna twin it on myself and on uh, uh, Lorgar. Right. <laughs> okay. You get your dream moving faster. What does what does haste do now? A lot. You're, you're uh, moving let me is double, you. then you get three attacks. Your AC is what, like plus six or something? Mm. Plus six AC. You've matrixed Wait, hold on. out. Let me uh, let me actually target you so I can do that correctly. You're all matrixed now. Targets me and Lorgar. Cool. Uh, let me haste you. Is this like basically getting oh. on a, on a charge as a Put this yeah. in yeah, terms yeah, I can yeah, understand. Just, you <laughs> no, remember when both <laughs> me and Lena got it and we essentially yeah, yeah. vaporized a giant because of it? Right. Yeah, we 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 hit the turbo button on our on our controller. Because I was running around like a goddamn madman playing on melee attacks on every fucking enemy. <laughs> okay, let's do it. A, a paladin with that shit is fucking insane because you're going to do so much damage. <clears throat> okay, uh, how are you approaching? Like, what? Uh, what is your formation? Yo, I'm sneaking. In fact, oh, wait, shit. Do wait, we have a map up yet? Or Do y'all want to sneak? Is it? Yeah, describe the area. Is it like <laughs> sneaking. in the wood? Is it off uh, the there... road? There are some trees. Uh, it is on the road. I'm in those trees. You um, want me to roll another stealth or just use my old roll? Can uh, I move use like, a new one. Or I, I already rolled a stealth roll. Can I be on the opposite side of the road, like going like parallel with Lena? Um, sort of. Sort of. I, I'm just yeah. trying to picture because it's like yeah. caravans that were like on the road and got waylaid, right? Me and you should yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm sure I'll show you the map in we'll a moment here, and we can fine tune it. Um, okay. I'm just setting it up because as soon as you see it, you're gonna see enemy placement and all that. Oh no, yeah, okay. Then I would want to be like equidistant, like me and Lena moving in tandem, and I'll be on the other side of the road. Sneak it. and I should we sneak or we should go in the center? <laughs> you we can try to sneak. Once once the attack begins, we should hey, just hey, charge I'm saying because we can mm -hmm. move double. We I'm can move double ahead. our speed. We can. Uh, you also have plus two to your AC, and you get an extra action every I turn. Can, I cast Which means you, trace. Just you know, uh, Orgar, that means okay. you can cast bless and other shit and still attack. Guys, you're passing. You're no. passing without trace. So if you want to stealth, you get a plus ten. Okay, Ooh. I'm coming with. Uh, so mine is thirty-two, and, and yeah, I am okay, the knight. So yeah, yeah we'll so stealth I've got, up. I've got thirty-five. He's thirty-two, and if you guys want to sneak to now, I'm sneaking. Okay, so Fuck I have to do a God stealth check. Balls, God, son of a bitch! Wow. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> he's just clanking oh, his way up the road. He's got. I mean, it's what eighteen. Just fucking screaming. Why did no, I do two? Fuck, because it's a critical fail. No, I just rolled a one. But I think I think on these, if you add all the bonuses, it's red all, because it's at disadvantage. We both got. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's right because of our armor. Yeah. You got these advantage throws on that. I figure you should have. Word. Um, so I got Lena and Idra Hill uh, flanking the street while the rest of you at. I'm uh, I'm following Lena. Is there a map here? But a little further there back. There will be shortly. Yeah, I would suggest you? not, like, I think, like, regardless, we would always kind of not have the heavy armored guys sneaking with the thieves. Yeah. Okay, well, hey. then let's... I didn't think so. Let's have us go, um... What heavy armored guys? I'm not wearing armor. I'm wearing pants. I was talking about you, uh, Teclis and Lorgar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not you. You, you. you just wear fucking, like, furs and shit. You're a barbarian. Yeah. Let's, well, let's go on Lena's side, but keep further back and closer to the road, maybe. Oh. Like, so if we get discovered, we don't blow it for her as well. Yeah. All right, don't I'll right for me. you. Any, anything that's looking at me gets disadvantaged. Oh, what the heck? It's cutting out. Did you say my own? 
Well, it's kind of hard to say, but I guess I'm just skirting around the outside. I'll go with uh, Logar. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, Logar. It's, so you come on with uh, um, us, Teclas? Yeah, so yeah. So we're all I'm together. You no, you're in front. You're, you'll be like 30 feet in front of us or whatever the heck. We'll Except me. Back. I'm on the other side of the road. Okay, yeah. so Ed is flanking and everyone else is following me. Here's the map. It, sure, like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, like that. Yeah, that works. All right, what's All the right. positioning of these dudes? I can't see these dudes. He doesn't put them uh, on yet. You're about to. Good. <laughs> Show me them dudes. So, what's your normal movement, Lorgar? 30, 30 right? now it's 60. So yeah, right. you can go 60 and I can go 60. What's the T for? I think the T's are the mooks and the B's are the big dudes. What does it mean? Uh, T's are, uh, are tribesmen. Tinies and bigos. B's are barbarians. B's are berserkers. Berser berserkers. Uh, Harsh Snag is down there in the corner, but he's not actually there yet. All right. So do we get like a little surprise round? Can we move move a bit? Uh, you do get a surprise round on these guys. You can see that they're currently picking around through the uh, the caravan. Can I start by getting up in this tree? Uh, yeah. Make a make an athletics check. What is it you drew? Oh, we rolled initiative yet for the combat round? We're doing surprise. We're doing a surprise. Yeah, not yet. Uh, he'll just go in a particular order for that, and then we'll do it. I'm down to below climb. you. Uh, then y'all decide to come with me. No, but we can get there real fast. Yeah, yeah Lorgar and I. Lorgar and I will be moving in real. How do you measure distance again? You draw a uh, line you, with the pointers. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Click both mouse buttons and drag from a square, and it'll tell you. Oh yeah, like look, man, we can go all the way to here. You can change the points. So that means where should we go? Should we attack these people first or get back here and massacre these guys behind this for cover? I don't care. I'm going to shoot them. Mine just yeah, draws think... a line. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the distance is under your token. Yeah. Because it's, oh. it's, the distance is uh, printed at the uh, first point. Which is dumb. So put it next to you. Let's subtract five. Oh, I see where it is. Okay. How do you yeah. delete these? Also, one yeah. square is five feet. You can just count it. Uh, yeah, I, know. Right. I was just, I was just curious. Sorry. Plus, it does, it is a visual indicator of like where I'm going to be moving to the team. Right. What did you say, Morgan? Oh, I got it. It's just fucking ridiculous on how you remove them. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's all, it, it's all right-click menus. <laughs> so we have a surprise round. Uh, we do. You're up first. Yeah, how are we, do, are we doing? Uh, what's it called? A surprise. I feel like no, not yet. <laughs> no. We don't do. No, uh, you don't initiative? do initiative for the surprise round because he'll just ask each of us what we want to do if for I'm the surprise. Up, you get a free up, round against them, basically. Sorry, if sorry, I, sorry. If sorry, I'm yeah. up in this tree, can I hold my attack until everyone else has moved? Um, because yes. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't yeah, because to... you'll just go last then. That's fine. Yeah, just let me go last, because I'm just staying here, and I don't want to... She's busy climbing else. the tree. Yeah, I'm yeah. climbing the tree. I don't want to blow everybody else's cover, so you guys get where you want to be, and then we'll fucking yeah. light this candle. All right, Lorgar, what do you want to do? Just <laughs> FYI, I'm going to start shooting at this tribesman first. Let's okay, go I'm going to immediately go from here, and I'm going to move myself right into this goddamn shit right here. Um, I am them going... Should I attack the warrior or the berserker? Should I attack the warrior? Um, so moving in, Yeah, moving into that square, you'll provoke an attack of opportunity from the uh, okay. warrior. Yeah, because you moved past him. So how, how does that work? Could I move to, like... You can move to, like, anywhere in front of him or to the side of him, but once you move past You could him, move to here. Yeah. Here. You, you know, you those spaces without getting an attack of opportunity because you're, you're closing. You might independent. You could probably even go here, but then, yeah, you could go there without an attack of opportunity, right? Second, where my where my token is. Um, no, because he yeah, would either be feet. he oh, would get then, an attack of opportunity from whoever he's not engaging. Yeah, because then you're in two threatened squares at once. Okay, yeah. So then you basically you can go to to where I where I'm at now without. Okay, that's where I'll move then. Sorry, I didn't yeah, know. Just that start now. there. 
I'll be I feel like without being able to ping, that's kind of the best method we have. Of like <laughs> specific. So, have, let me go to. Sorry, I'm just. It's been a while since I used this combat tracker here. I was gonna draw a circle. Yep. Um. In the uh, the combat tracker, he is uh, Tribal Warrior Nine. Okay. I'm just gonna Which I believe it says if you mouse over him. You can also uh, target him from the map too. I think. How do you target down the map? Control click. Control click. Yeah, so I just clicked on him. Cool, yeah, it says you're you're targeting him. Okay, so right off the bat I'm gonna use um my Warhammer two handed and and then I divine smite after, right? Yeah, but it's... you divine smite if you hit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna attack him. Alright. Let's do it. Oof. That's <laughs> still a hit. Wow, perfect. Okay, yeah. so I roll it again. Roll the damage. Roll your weapon damage and then uh, do your Divine Smite. Then my Divine Smite. I just uh, click on Divine Smite, I guess. Oh, I guess you should have done that before you attacked. Uh, so just roll 1d8. Okay, this, which one's the d8 again? The this one with one. eight sides. No, that's not. That's the something different. I'm gonna that's be. a D10. You just rolled the uh, D10. It's the one that looks like a Sims crystal. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. <clears throat> nice. So, um, Lorgar, you come charging up across the uh, the road from the other side. Um, and uh, this, uh, this barbarian is, like, picking through a uh, chest of his feet and he hears you approach and turns to look right as your hammer comes down onto his face and just collapses his head inward. Ugh. <laughs> nice. Uh, and he collapses to the ground dead as fuck. Gross. Okay. Um, so I have two more actions. I can't reach these people, right? Do I have to be right beside them? Throw Correct. your baby hammers. So could I use one action as another movement? Or no? Well, you're, you're hasted, up? so you can move double your movement normally. Yeah, you still got movement left. So you okay. can still you can just walk right up to him. So I'm gonna walk up to this barbarian berserker, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. uh, be sure to target him. Oh yeah, control click. I'm going to uh, first level the line, smite him again. So I'll cast it first, and it's then. Uh, oh, you already have it on. Okay. But I'm, I'm gonna do this. Ooh, shit! Oh shit! <laughs> evaporated this dude. And now I, I roll my damage. Uh, uh, yeah, roll your damage now. I can't wait till Albrecht is smited, or not smited, uh, is is hasted. And Holy rages. shit! What the fuck? <laughs> is just... that supposed to happen? Uh, let's see here. One D10 plus ones, two, yeah, because it doubled the radiant. Uh, it basically casts as a second level in the wide fight as well. Twice. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I I'm confused how you did that. Like, because it was a crit. Oh, okay. Yeah. After oh, you roll, yeah. yeah, it'll automatically do your double damage die when you uh, roll a crit. Okay. So yeah. you got an extra Divine Smite. Also, I, I guess be... I'm, cu I'm curious how you worked the Divine Smite into the attack. That's why I, I also you. should be able to reroll. It's re an effect he applied before he attacked. I should be able yeah. to reroll that 1d10 and add to that damage because great weapon fighter damage. So if I roll oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. any of my damage, so I'm going to do that so, right now. Yeah, just reroll your d10, yeah. So how do I do, like, sneak attack? Two, I get to do it again? Or no? No, I have to keep that one. I'm just it making one. Sagan do it. <laughs> All right. 40 damage. Uh, yeah, so you collapse that one dude's head, uh, and then step forward, and then swing this one right into the gut of this berserker. And he fucking doubles over and, like, spits blood into the snow, but he's still alive. Ooh. Oh. So, am I out then? Is that my three movements, right? Uh, that was your, your two actions. Um, I have a third action though, right? Yeah, you're hasted. So, well, no, because, mm, so, <clears throat> the way it works is you get two actions, but your second attack occurs when you attack. Oh, okay. So, don't, don't, you can make another attack right now. Yeah, he, yeah. he normally he gets two attacks. Off. 
Okay, I'm gonna attack again. Yes, you could it's... not move and attack the third okay. guy. That's okay, what you couldn't that's... do. So I'm attacking. If he moves, he's gonna get up to. So do I still have Divine Smite on? No. 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 You, you, okay, it's just the one again. hit. Okay, yeah. I'm using it again. Well, I mean, you can keep using it as many times as you want as long yeah. as you have spell slots. As long as you have spell slots to burn. Yeah. <laughs> hit. But you're probably gonna kill this guy without using it, so. We'll see. Still alive. Yeah, you, uh. When he doubles over, you bring your hammer around and then onto, like, the the nape of his neck. And, uh, you hear a crunch, um, oh. and then, like, a yelp of pain followed by laughter. Uh oh. Fuck and that is your turn. Uh, Idrahil. I'm going to run up on that dude. Hey, did you okay. get in turn? Oh, wait, we're not doing we're that. We're not doing that yet. Not yeah, yet. we're not doing that yet. Hit the Which one is this? This is Berserker... Two. Two. Right, I found him. And how yes, do I select him to make sure that he's picked? Control uh, clicking. You can control click the token as well. Oh, nice. How do I know if it worked? Uh, under your name, it'll say targets. <laughs> you clicked three of them. No, it's there. I see Berserker targets, too. Targets, Tribal Warriors. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's Techless. What are you doing? Yeah, that's not me. Because he drew the square. Oh. I drew the square because my plan on my turn is to, before I charge at the guys that they're fighting down there, as I'm moving up, I'm going to cast Fireball on that cluster of dudes. I Little forgot Hunter's Mark. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Okay, now I'm trying to remember how this combat system works. Uh, you just roll your attack now. Um, they're on the last page of your character sheet, I think. Oh, Actions. Oh, okay, Actions. Got it. okay. Weapons and spells are in actions. Hit. That's a hit. Actually, um... All right, and then how do I roll the all the damage? It's next just, to the attack roll. Just do that? Okay. Dying! And Sorry. I get a sneak attack on that, too. Well, he's yep. dead. Well, does dying mean he's dead, or does dying mean... Not necessarily. I thought he hit zero. Well, just to make sure. All right. Did that? You rolled that a hit, roll? not a, a damage roll. I rolled that on my sneak attack. I guess I was... There we go. That's damage exceeded. Now he's dying with one failed save. Uh, yeah, so, um, Andrew Hill, you, uh, you dodge around this tree and run up on this guy who is now laughing as he's, like, as blood is flowing freely out of his mouth into, uh, the, the snow, he and, uh, you just, you just kind of, like, uppercut him in the throat with your dagger. Yeah. I say, shut up. And he just gurgles and collapses. Nice. And I just kind of look over at Logar and just nod. Berserkers, man. Fuck him. Yeah, no, that's why I'm glad Logar targeted that guy. Uh, all right, Albrecht. All right, let's see. Go How do you do this thing? I thought you'd do like two mouse clicks and you can drag the line. Uh, it's can... both at once and then dragging. What do you mean drag the line? You can drag like one end or another if you want to move it. Well, I, I seem to just be able to just move my character when I click like both. Where are you going? Time. Now, I want Whoa. to see if I can go. Oh, not that far. I'm I confused can't what you're doing. Yeah, I don't understand what you're trying to do. Look, the, I'm trying to tell the distance. You just you press both in and hold it, and it creates a line. With press in both mouse buttons. Not on top of you. Okay. That's how you do a line. <laughs> I mean, is this this stream? I guess is difficult terrain. That's not stream. Oh, that's the oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna run over to the. I'm gonna rage. All right. Yeah, let me help you. That's thirty feet. Abilities. Do I, have, I forget, do I have to just drag this into my character? I think you can just click it. Right, 
I'm gonna be on my main sheet, I think. It's been so long. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's, an action. A, it's an action, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Boom, you're raging. Effects, raging. rage, advantage on strength right, checks. I'm gonna go right here, because I think that's as far as I can go. All right. Um, I'm yeah, gonna I measured it. Attack with my, I'm gonna attack with my my great axe. Nice. All right, target that guy. Control click his token. Control oh. click. Okay, and then roll that damage. Roll the attack. Yeah, I gotta find. Remember what is it? Is, is it under action? Yeah, it should be. There it is. Roll it to hit. Hit. That's a hit. Now roll your damage. Mm, how do we do that again? I'm here just it's next to it. the to hit. It should be the die type plus your modifier. Mm. Yeah, it's the thing that says 1d12 plus 5 slashing. Fucking where? Right next yes. to the die you just rolled. Yeah. yeah. Where you clicked to roll the die, dude. Immediately next to it. Ah. Okay, I'm looking at the chat box. Dying. All right, I'll read you. Uh, you dash up at this guy who was picking through those crates, and uh, he was kind of bent over, and you just bring your axe down and lop off his head. Wow. <laughs> Damn it! What? I wanted to, to attack another, attack him again. Oh well, he's dead. <laughs> he, he was dead that time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> As a barbarian, though, uh, I think that you have. Um, more movement than usual. Yeah, you have a movement speed of 40, so you can move another 10 feet. Alright. I'm gonna move right here. I'm gonna attack that Berserker. Did you target him? No, oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. You rolled a 24 to hit. Yes, yeah, so I just rolled damage. Yeah, target him and do damage. 13. Alright. You, uh cleave uh, a good gash into that dude's arm. He's raging as long as he does or perceives damage, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, Teclas. Never mind, a 20-foot radius is way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, uh, it's pretty big. Yeah, I don't want to uh, burn down these fucking wagons. So! Yeah, what I will do Is I will target this guy and I will move up first to right here and I will cast on him motherfucking I can't, let me see. I can't be in my tree no I'm not gonna I'm gonna cast uh, Eldritch Blast, actually. Ooh, 19 hits. In which case, I will roll the damage. Nine damage. And. And I will also draw Ashrune. Oh shit. And attack this this fool. Alright. Alright. So you uh Excuse me. You step in front of that tree and extend your hand and release a bolt of green and purple energy that uh hits the chest. Uh, it burns away some of like their height armor, uh, and they gasp in pain. But before they can recover, you step up to them and uh, effortlessly just slice them across the throat, and they grasp at their throat as they drop down to their knees and just bleed out into the snow. Wonderful. And I will use the rem to uh, engage this fella here from the side. 
tall, right? And that's my surprise round. Uh, all right. How many poison charges did I have left? <laughs> uh, it would have run out by now. Right, I had to make some more. Hour. Um. Plus, we've pretty much already won this fight, considering a giant is going to come crashing through the south. You know, Which he sure what does, like, like what right he, now. What if he's like an elephant and he's afraid of small things? No, man, Harsh Snag uh, comes plowing out of the south through the trees, uh, great axe overhead, and he comes down towards this uh, barbarian over here and fucking swings down at him. Oh, jeez. We're going to make a mess. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> uh, okay. This dude just some um, harsh snag, like, basically comes, steps out from behind that tree, like, just kind of pushing it aside, and it creaks as it's bent out of the way. And brings uh, his axe down with his other hand and just bisects this dude from the top of his skull to his groin in one swift blow. And the axe, like, kind of craters into the ground and, like, you kind of feel it in the ground for a second. Motherfucker was in Valhalla before he ever knew what hit him. <laughs> uh, and that dude is dead. Oh, boy. All right, Lenny, you're up. Oh, like harsh nags. Sorry, Lana. No, you can't use Colossus Slayer because we killed everyone. Uh, yeah, I can. I'm gonna target the Berserker between. Tech oh wait, yeah, and... we already know that. He, that, that dude lives. Yeah, that, well, first I'm one. gonna bonus action cast Tarn's Mark on him. Okay. Then I'm gonna target that guy. Do that. No. All right. Okay. Wait, what do I need to do for Hunter's Mark again? Uh, I think just click it. Just click it on myself. Yeah. What's that? Sounds good. Oh, sorry. Now it's muted. Alright. Let's try this. First shot. Oh, shit! Oh, God! And that was... I, I forgot to tell you, I rolled that with Sharpshooter. So, it's minus 5, 24 to hit. It's a crit. I mean, yeah, that hits. So the damage is going to be, base damage is plus 10. Oh, Ugh. all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I'll roll a d6 for uh, sneak attack. And then a d8 for Colossus Slayer. Oh, wait, that's a d10. My bad. I'm sorry. I got it confused, too. So it's 28, plus 8, 36 damage. Am I forgetting something? Hunter's Mark! Hunter's Mark! Shit! Uh, it's a D6. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Another 2. 38 total, first attack. Uh, Alright. Uh, Teclas, as you move up to uh, engage this Berserker, an arrow flies right next to your ear and impacts into his neck. Uh, but he does not go down. Oh, yeah? Nope, he's Six still up. Time. And it took both me and Lorgar to take down that one guy. Her name right. is uh, Lena. You're welcome. Uh, now everyone needs to roll initiative. I have two attacks. Oh, right. Well, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Same guy. You sure? Yes. Yeah, get rid of the Wait. barbarian. Get rid of the berserkers before they ever get a roll. Because there's also a C and, like, a lady down there. 21 hits for Sharpshooter. I think that's, like, she's tied up, man. Is she? So she that's like 19 it. total. She got bones in her hair. That's a shaman, dude. That's a shaman, homie. Oh, man. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Then, zooming in. Uh, as you, uh are beginning to engage this uh, berserker after an arrow flies into his neck, another one flies into his eye, and that one does uh, drop him before you even have a chance to swing at him. Alright, that's my turn. Alright, everyone roll initiative. 
Sorry, Tempest. It's okay. Do you remember where initiative is? Fucking natural one. There it is. Uh, front page. Jesus Christ. And where do I click? Is it underneath it? Can okay. I use Tides of uh, Chaos to give myself advantage on that? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Oh, I don't think it counts for initiative. I think it's an attack roll or an ability check. So no. I, wa I wave at Teclas from the tree. Good job! Wave back. I do. Fruit. <laughs> uh, okay. Wave back. Hey, uh, I gotta do it now, so I'm just gonna say as a bonus action, I move my mark to the next berserker over here in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> uh, all right. You don't have protection, do you, Lorgar? Uh, so this dude uh, who looks to be the chief. Uh, starts like slapping his chest and hyping himself up. Why? Uh, because he. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. He's raging, isn't he? Oh, no. Oh, shit. I don't have an effect for that. But yeah, he's raging. Oh wait, actually I can do this. Make him look angry. <laughs> As the melee truly begins, I I, I whisper to Albrecht, uh, not try not to get, try not to get killed, Albrecht. My sister totally is crushing on you. The secret. I'm married. Oh. I'm married, dumbass. <laughs> I got the I kids know. too. I know, but still. Get wrecked, Lena. You don't. Hey, wanna, whatever. You don't want to break her heart. I'll break fucking skulls. <laughs> fucking, your family's full of murderers. I never said but I loved I her. Like I thought you. she was cooler than Teclas. <sighs> uh huh. That's why you're flooding your eyelashes at her. Teclas is the one who's like, hey, she fucking wants to flick your bean. Yeah, why don't you flick? Hey, let's have this guy next to me. Hey, <laughs> Edger Hill, this guy runs up on you with a great axe. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, trying to make friends. Y'all gonna make it in some that's not? Fucking put me he down. He has advantage on his attack. I'm I'm staring at you. Shake Holy shit! He hits you. Who All right. You, staring at? you. You turning around? And, why? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this dude uh, rushes up on you and cleaves at you the great axe, finding purchase in your arm, and uh, and cuts you for seven slashing damage. Uh oh. Does that automatically get deducted? How do I do my damage? It's it does. Wounded. Yeah, yeah it, it's right. already added. So, you have seven wounds. Who keeps altering me? <laughs> it's probably Akito. <laughs> yeah. What? Altering me? Stop spinning us around! Alter I'm not, head. I'm not doing anything right now. Uh, this I'm guy like... next to uh, the chief also steps in. Alright, motherfucker, bring it. And he is going to uh, attack you with his spear. What you got there? A spear? Spears are for pussies. I, just, I do want to learn those sword tricks. Uh, and that. he has pack tactics, so he also gets advantage. I just got this bejeweled scimitar. I don't know how to do it. He also hits. Oh boy, I'm getting beat up. He uh, thrusts and pokes at you with his spear for four damage. Alright. Lorgar, you are up. <clears throat> Get him, big boy. Fuck these guys! Show him the justice. Wait, what's the C? Is that Chief? Oh, <clears throat> yes. Damn it. Eh, whatever. I'll, I'll take a uh, Is it too late to use on Candy Dodge? Mm. I'm sorry. I started looking it up during the thing. <sighs> um, yes. Alright, fine. Fuck it. Morgan! Um. 
He's either muted or not there. For for Sue, Sorry, I, I engage the nearest opponent. Um, can in I time. can I attack then move and attack again? Yes. Okay. You might get an opportunity. Yeah. You're gonna get, take an opportunity attack though. But I'm gonna attack the tribal warrior. If you kill him, then you can. Yeah. Move if you, if you free kill him, you're good. Uh, yeah. So. Where do I see my current hit points? I'm gonna divine it's smite. Your, it's on your thing in the combat tracker. It's also the green bar next to you. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, you got a health bar. Um, I see it now. I'm going to use Thank my you. bonus attack to cast Hunter's Moon him as well. Okay. Good idea. Uh, I'm a little confused because in the combat checker it says I have 51, but then the character sheet says... I'm a dragon. It's because oh, you don't you target first. in the system. No, you I take wounds that add up to your max. Okay. How do you target? Control click. Control on? click the token. Control click. So is it 12, 12 to hit. Yeah. But target him first. There you go. Cause yeah, for the damage, which. And then just do it again. Roll the twelve. It's fine. Oh. Uh, God, <laughs> why'd you tell him to? <laughs> oh well. Is the fumble table not working? Uh, on certain numbers, it doesn't have an entry. Mm. Okay, can I attack again then? Oh, okay, so it's not always catastrophic. Right. Yeah, no, you uh, you swipe and he's able to, like, duck out from under it. Alright, I'm attacking. But uh, you have another attack, yeah. Shit. Okay. Do it. I had... Fuck, I haven't been attacking with a I get to reroll like... all of those. Okay, do it. Okay, so first that one. Six. Uh, you don't roll the uh the d6 because that's the hunter's mark. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. so I reroll this guy. Not that oh. guy. This guy. That guy. Yes. Him and him. Okay. That would be. Twenty damage. Uh, okay. That is okay. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, you um, you swing around and uh and impact his arm like up against his body, and you can hear like the the bones in his arm crunching, uh, and you just kind of follow through, and he he's knocked to the side and just hits the ground and doesn't move. Okay, so I, I'm hasted. I had two attacks there. Can I move and then attack again? Yes, you can move and have one attack. Okay, um. I'm going to move into right here beside him so I can attack him. All right. So if I can... Yeah, my control clicking on the map isn't isn't selecting. It's only when I do it on the combat tracker. Whatever. That sucks. Okay, I've used two Divine Smites. Um, I'm going to use a second level Divine. Okay, roll to hit first. I will roll to hit first. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Whatever. Yeah, it's not going to do it until you damage it. That and you hits. do, so roll that damage. Boy, it's gonna be gross. Ugh. Like, he's got a lot of health. He's a chief. The motherfucking chief. Chief uh, yeah, well, shit, Where is he? I'm gonna have to shoot oh, over your head. Lorgar, duck into your shell. Okay. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, you swing into him, and, uh, he's able, he, like, tries to, like, check your blow with his shoulder, and, uh, it, it doesn't quite work out well for him, uh, but he doesn't seem too phased by it. Hmm. He must have well over 100 health. 
Is that the first hit he's taken? Uh, is that the, uh, it is the first hit, yeah. Yeah. Um, is that your turn? Yep. Hit the clock. All right. Uh, the remaining berserker. He's marked. Uh, starts foaming at the mouth and runs up to Teclas. Oh boy, I gotta protect Teclas, I promise his sister. And, uh, he is raging recklessly, so he has advantage on this attack. Oh boy. Okay. Um, my AC is 20. Uh, oh. It's a miss. <laughs> yeah, oh. shit. <laughs> He, uh, he fucking swings at you with, like, alarming Shield. speed, oh. <laughs> but you're hasted, and you move superhumanly quick and uh, easily deflect the blow to the side. Not today, big man. Let's see, which one is this guy? That's him. He is uh, going to uh, try and fuck with Harshnag. What? Why? Why? Okay. Why? <laughs> You're a brave man. It's Todd Bar. How do you get next up in this? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he stabs at uh, at Harstag's foot with his spear, and Harstag just like lifts up his foot to move it out of the way. Oh, he boy. missed with an 18, by the way. Yeah. And now it's Harshnag's turn. Oh, God. <laughs> well. <laughs> goodbye. And he said he smush. He was a brave man. He is, you know. <laughs> pretty brave. Uh, he's going to swing at him. That not, not did that did that not go? No, he did not. Go again. There it is. Smush. <laughs> um, he's not fucking around. He's a uh, harsh nag. Is two handing this axe blow. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> And just uh, hacks down <laughs> in a diagonal motion and just cleaves through him from the shoulder out through the bottom of his torso. We all have to roll constitution checks. <laughs> 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 yeah, his, his guts and blood uh, spatter all over the snow and steam. Well. Uh, and then Harshnag fucking just walks over here. So far, first round, going great for these barbarians. Uh, yeah, so Harshnag is uh, currently climbing over this uh, fallen tree, and while he does so, he attacks the uh, tribal warrior. With what? Is he throwing something? No, he has a range of ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck me. Because he's a giant. <laughs> Because his sword is fucking huge. It's a giant, jagged great axe. Best party member. <laughs> oh my god. It hits. Uh, but because he's moving, he's doing it one handed. Hey, Harshnag, you want to help us catch the weevil? Flat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he just like cleaves through the top of this dude's head. <coughs> That's disgusting. Yo, listen, Harshnag, help us catch the weevil. We'll split it with you. Just you can have the money. Just we'll just give it, it to you. Your hands. <laughs> uh, all right. This guy, seeing that just happen, is like, <laughs> fuck that, and decides to engage Lorgar instead. Yeah, run right towards the other huge thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he gets pack tactics, so he gets advantage on his attack. Bitch. Ooh. Nope. Didn't party you, but he sure <laughs> didn't hit you. As if that mattered. <laughs> uh, yep. Six, that is his turn. In there, take it. Lena. All right, let's get down to business. <laughs> Shoot the uh, shaman. Kill that fucker. Uh, 
Which one's the shaman? The chief? Right at the bottom. <laughs> the one with an actual token. I gotta finish this berserker off because he's marked. Mm. If I do that, then I can move it to the shaman. Okay. I'm worried about. So, I'm worried about that. I know. I'll get to that. But I'll start with that. Say, so, do I get advantage for being in this tree? I forgot to ask. Um, generally yes, but because you're shooting in between Albrecht and Teclis, it beats it out, so it's a normal roll. Fair role. enough. Alright, I'm gonna go for another, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna roll big. I'm go for another right, sharp shot. Do All it. in. Do it. Ooh, 16 hits? Yeah, but you get minus 5, so wouldn't that be 11? That's factored oh, in. Oh, you did it. I, oh my I, god, it's already factored I add the modifier in. when I roll it. Sick. All right, I still have Hunter's Mark on, right? Yep. So it's gonna be plus ten to the damage, plus a D six. Twenty four. Is that guy hurt? Um, or is this his first hit? I think that's his first hit. He just got into combat. Okay, yes, then I'll that's just his first hit. Then I'll just roll the sneak attack too, because Teclis is next to him. All right. All right. So twenty five for the first attack. All right. All right, and then I will. Fuck, lost my sheet. There it is. Uh, do the same thing. Okay. Going big, big money. Big money, no whammy. So far, it's worked out. Big money, salvage. Sixteen minutes, single. <laughs> nice. Uh, Are you a hunt... main? Do I get hunter's mark once per turn? Yes. I can't... Okay, then I'm, you need to turn it off, otherwise it's going to apply again. How do I clear that? Oh, I can do that. Yeah, just do that. Tell me when you've done that and I'll roll the damage. Alright, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, why don't we just leave it on, because it's going to be... Oh no, sneak attacks once per turn too. Alright, so yeah, then this is just going to be flat bonus damage for 18. Except he's hurt. Wait, he's hurt now. He's hurt now. 22. Uh, okay. That's it. I'm done. <clears throat> uh, your arrows plink into his pectorals. Uh, but he is frothing at the mouth and does not appear to notice. It's crazy. Now your turn. I think so. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, all right, this guy. I tried, Lorgar. I hit him both times. I saw. I saw. It was good damage, but he's raging, so he's probably resistant. Uh, this guy, let's see here. I'm trying to burn him down. Okay, so this guy's going to move up here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, it doesn't want to conform to the grid, right? All right. To shake me out of my tree. Uh, I right, pretend that he's one space above where he is. Okay. Right. Uh, he's and yeah, he's going to he's going it? to huck a spear at you, Lena. Oh shit. <laughs> ha! Ooh, myth. Uh, Last can. Uh, it it sails uh, in front of you, and you watch it as it passes, uh, which draws your attention to him as he's flanking around that tree. But that's his turn. Fuck him! I see him now. Edra Hill. <coughs> Give him some damage onto that fucking. One second, I'm on my way back. Uh, sneak good. attack that captain. Yep, I can't sneak attack him. Yeah, you can. He can. Lorgar's next to him. Oh, yeah. Shit. He's got an adjacent uh, target. You get that damage. Stab him the gut. Right, yep. I'm going to roll for sword on... Go on, my son. Captain? Ooh, nice. You didn't target him, but nice. 22. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just do it target again so the damage goes through. Yeah. Yeah. That way you're sure you're doing All right, damage. then roll damage. Yep. Yeah, I hit him. Why is it? Oh, wait, no. right. yeah, that's right. Never mind. And then do your sneak attack. Yep, then sneak attack on top of that. 
Oh shit. Not bad. Alright, then I get my other uh, sword. Where is that? Is that a bonus action? Yes, I don't get right, my... You're two-handing it, right? Yeah. Right. Oh shit, yeah, I need to figure out how to do that for... I don't know how to turn that off. You can add the modif modifier manually if you need to, in the bottom left. Um, oh, okay, so if I just get rid of my strength, or my dex modifier. Yeah, so just subtract yeah. it, and then roll. Which is four. So put minus four in the modifier box, and yep. then roll. That's what I've been doing for Sharpshooter. Which, as we I think we've said before, is misnamed. Nice. Is more accurate. Nice. Should be called Hanzo. Hits anyway, and then... Hey, you uh, know what? It's working, so I don't want to hear any shit. Four more Just damage. Turn. Nice. Look at you, you're upside down. Oh, and then I will move <laughs> uh, back like that. Disengaging? I don't even need to disengage. It's uh, squash back there. <coughs> it's what? Oh, it's I attacked him so I can leave. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. That's, that's a uh, good All right, yeah, you, uh, you uh, slice at him with your, uh, your thunderous sword. It, uh, it cuts into him. You can see like a, a puff of um, like thunderous force emit from the blade into the wound, and then you follow up with a, a cut from your other your other dagger and slice him across the belly, and then back up. Albrecht. Yes, I will the tweet kill. beside you and the berserker. Yep, I'm gonna kill that dude beside me. Hopefully, I'm gonna swing with my thingy. Is uh sure to target him? Yeah, yeah. I have to target him with the thing, not the map. I know. I'm, I'm just uh... there. You go. Oh, I see what's going on. There, there. The... Okay. Do it. Oh, it hit. Hit. Dying. He's dying. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. You uh, you pull like an underhanded swing with your axe and just catch this guy like in the gut up under his rib cage, uh, and he just like keels over the blade and you have to kind of like shake the body off. Yeah, gross! Get it off. Okay, <laughs> I still got my movement. I'm gonna move next. Barbarian, um, fucking hit him. Uh, all right, you have advantage against him. Mm, I mean, you do how anyway. How, how, how do I just do advantage? Am I just rolling twice? No, you um, can hit the toggle on the bottom left. Yeah, on the bottom That's left where it says advantage, click that nice and then roll your, your thing. It'll just give you the highest one automatically. Nice. 27! Yeah. You didn't target him though. Yeah, Whatever, that that's gotta hit. Target him and do the damage. Yeah. Nice. 17. Yeah. He's fucked up. Uh, yeah, he's real fucked up. I don't think uh, that's all I can bleeding do. from several wounds, and, uh... He still looks mad in the eyes, something that you're really familiar with, Albrecht. Uh, but you can tell that physically his body won't last much longer. You guys are just raging at each other. Yep. Just raging. So mad. I hold my anger really well, but... You have a quiet rage. Mm-hmm. That's always what's scared. It's me. like a dad who's about to flip a table because he's fed up. Yeah, that's why you gotta hang, hang around when uh -huh. you're over. I don't think it's my. I, I can't do. I mean, I don't get another attack. I don't think. Right. You can use your movement, I think. Yeah, but you gotta finish the job. Sure. Uh, ten, ten, ten. It's this guy. All right, this guy's gonna step from around the wagon and engage Teclas. No, I'm gonna get that nerd. Bring it. Uh, and he's going to get advantage. And uh, he's jabbing at you with a spear two-handed. Is that pack tactics? Yeah, it is. What's the range? Ten feet? Uh, it's in within five feet of your quarry. Oh. It's basically not a, flanking. Yeah, so not adjacent. Nope. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, you see him approach, and you're able to deflect his blow. Asherun, uh, 
feels like it sings in your hand as uh, you swat away his spear. Uh, let's see. This guy, who is over here taking a piss, uh, uses half his movement to uh, get his dick Zip. in his pants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, run into the fight, but he can only get that far. Or rather, this far. I uh, admire that guy's um, attitude that he, instead of just running away, he's like, no, I can help. Protect the okay. dick. He just hasn't been... He was behind that wagon, so he hasn't seen fucking if his friends are dead yet. Yeah. He's gonna round the corner and be like, Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is a mistake! Oh, oh, I'm oh my god! <laughs> So the shaman um, pulls uh, three arrows out of a quiver at her hip and uh, thrusts them into the ground and begins chanting an incantation and waving her hands over the arrows uh, before standing up and uh, moving away. Wait, she did what? She planted some arrows in the ground and oh. did some kind of magic stuff and then walked away from it and moved over towards Lorgar. Don't get close to that. Mm. She kind of uh, ducks down behind this crate. Do I recognize that? You do not. It is my turn. It is Ooh. your turn. What do you Kill that do? berserker. Kill that. Well. First, I'm going to attack that berserker with Ashrun. You okay. just want his soul. It. Hey, Sagan, can you mark on the map where those arrows went down? Uh, yes, I can. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now Put him out of his misery. And then I want to turn around and uh, also engage... The tribesman? The tribesman with my sword. Uh, yeah, so you're able to... Uh, the berserker is swinging at Albrecht, and you're able to intercede with Ashrun and then slide off the haft of his axe into his stomach. Uh, and he he collapses forward as you withdraw. Rest in peace, Ooh. you, Mr. Tribesman. You hit him. Oh, whoops. Oh. Okay. Uh, you spin and then slash that guy, cutting a deep gash just across the front of his face. I'm gonna call you Smiley now. <laughs> God, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Do I hear him? I hear him say that, right? <laughs> Guy immediately turns to God. Do you know how I got these scars? <laughs> I, I, I just I let out a very loud ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that your turn? That is my turn. You get one more hit. Actually, so, uh, no. You get no, your hit, don't you? No, that gives me two attacks, because normally I only get one. Yeah, okay. he's, he's, he's not a two-hitter. Yeah. I am not. All right, Chief, bring the thunder. Uh, the Chief is bringing the thunder. Uh-oh. Here comes the thunder. He's targeting just you. Shit. Oh, man. Or you can't die. Uh, he uh, he swings at you and you try to deflect, but his strength overpowers your hammer and uh, the axe comes through and uh, chops at your shoulder where the uh, the armor isn't so great under the plate and uh, you can feel the axe bite into your your flesh through the scales. No, rude. <clears throat> and now it's your turn. Hmm. Um, top going guy first. Or should I dump damage on the chief? I want the chief. You know what? Let's dump damage on the chief. Um. Well, so I can I, I can attack with like blind <coughs> smite level two as well as like searing smite. As, at the How same many time, spell correct? slots? Do you have yeah. Yeah. As long as you have spell slots. Okay. Yeah. So first, I'm going to use my bonus action and cast Hunter's Mark or whatever on this motherfucker. So we're doing all that shit. Well, that's going to take a slot. 
Hunter's Mark, yep. And then, no, it's, and then, well, I can move it. I already had it cast, right? Or did I not? I did not. You can do it as a bonus action if the target that you had it on previously dies. Who did you attack last time? Because that's whoever you had it on. Oh, I had it on him already. Yeah, okay. So, okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, so, so I, I otherwise, move it otherwise you'd have to on him. So, I'm going to cast um, Searing Smite. Okay. And Divine Smite. There's, that is a bonus action. I can only do one smite. I it, do no, one no, smite. I'm saying that's a bonus action, not even a normal action. Oh, yeah. So divine smite. And then I'm going to roll damage and see what happens. Roll an attack first. Hot. Yeah, roll attack. So two hands. Come on, hit. Oh, shit. That's a hit. Oh, barely. Okay, now we're running through it. Let's see. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my fuck. <laughs> I get to re-roll those two ones. Yeah. Two. Three. So add uh, three damage. So 32. Uh, all right. You uh, you crash your hammer uh, right into this dude's chest. Um, and uh, your hammer glows with divine light and also flames on the surface as you impact him in the flames. <laughs> Uh, kind of explode around his chest and like lick up at his face and shit. Um, but he's still going. Okay, I'm gonna attack again. Should I use first or second level divine spike? Critically, he's a lot of health. Um, you know what? I'm gonna blow my spell wad here on him. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Uh, and that's all of my. Sp no, I'm not. I'm not using my last one. I'm just gonna do second level divine spike. That's my last spell slot. This. It. And we're gonna do this. Get oh, fucked dead. on. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you, you swung into his chest, uh, knocking him back, and then you followed it up with a blow to the side of his head. Uh, and you can hear his skull crunch, and uh, he just falls in that direction onto the snow. So I'm hasted, and I get one more hit, right? That was two. Um, yes. Okay, yeah. so I haven't moved my Hunter's Mark, because it was already on him. So you can I'm now move, move it to the tribe's guy. I'm moving it to this... What number is he? Twelve? Uh, yes. The heck? That's your bonus action. Didn't you already use one? No, I didn't. I just cast. Uh, oh, I cast Searing I thought Smite. It was the Does that count? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, never mind. I'm just yeah, going to attack the, him. The, we got to do the next turn. Searing yeah, Smite is a bonus action. So I'm Mark's just gone. attacking him normal. Right. So no mark on him. So can I? You remove it? You'll have to clear it. The effect, otherwise you'll be rolling a d6. Man, I really want to kill that shaman. Uh, you okay. should be good to go. Okay, go ahead. I'm rolling. Hit. It's a good hit. Oh yes! Jesus. Nothing shall live surround me. Jesus. Uh, yeah, you uh, you you grip the haft of your <laughs> hammer with both hands and just swing it into this dude's chest as hard as you can, and you can feel his ribcage give way. Uh, and he just kind of flies back five feet and crumples against the uh the side of the cart. Feels like justice. I think that's my turn. Uh, all right. Harshnag is uh, going to head over towards the shaman. Don't do and, it. And uh, he approaches where she planted those arrows. Mm. Yep. And uh, no! one of them uh, lifts up fine. out of the, the ground and then, like, flies at him. He can take it. Uh, let's see, what does that do exactly again? He's got to roll a save against it. I think. Uh, yeah, he's gonna make a dex save. How close yeah. is he to me? It's, yeah. dude, he'll be fine. Uh, he's too far away for your aura. Damn it. Uh, yeah, but he makes a dex. Oh, hang on. Add a negative one. Uh, he fails. 
Oof. Parchnag now. Uh, <laughs> He's got 200 HP. The arrow uh, oh, sinks into his, uh, his bicep, but he does not seem to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and just continues walking forward. <laughs> um, he, uh, the, uh, the statue that he's standing next to, he actually, like, grabs the, the head of the statue and rips it off of the torso. Yes! And then he throws it at the shop. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. oh, he fumbled. Oh, no! <laughs> he, uh, so he, he rips the, uh, the statue's head off, and uh, the rest of it actually crumbles and uh, and no, like, falls snake. onto his side, and it throws his aim off, uh, and the the head plinks down over in this direction. Uh, it just thuds into the snow. It happens to everyone. Uh, you can see that the uh, the falling statue has also knocked <laughs> off some of uh, his leg armor. Lena. Hey. Now, if I want to target the shaman, do I have advantage on these shots? Because I'm not sure between these two guys anymore. Um. Or is it still too tight? She's hiding behind a crate. She's got cover. Yeah, but cover, cover doesn't, doesn't matter mean shit. To me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you have advantage. Cover doesn't matter to me. I have sharpshooter. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you upset? <laughs> I want to kill a shaman. Uh, well, first of all, for my bonus action, because it's my next turn, I'm going to move the hunter's mark to the shaman. Listen, she isn't okay. wanting to live. She's just watching me, watch me beat everyone in her life to death with a fucking hammer. Like... Do that. It's okay. If you guys get her, then I'll... All right. Rolling with advantage. All these schmucks over here. Oh, fuck. You fucking kidding me? Oh, Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Did you see that oh, shit? shit. Oh, <laughs> two ones. <laughs> <laughs> so uh you uh you try to, to take aim at the, the shaman but the uh the branch you're standing on snaps suddenly and gives way underneath and you fall out of the tree landing awkwardly on your leg. God uh, damn it. And you sprain your leg. Do I still get a you're now attack? you're prone on the ground. You have to have your movement to stand up. Okay, well I didn't go far. So I'll do that, and I'll lean up against the tree to take another shot without advantage. Okay. Fucking stupid tree. I rolled two ones! Yep, that yeah, sucks. <laughs> oh my eight. god. Oh, you don't have a targeted. Well, it was eight. She's too heartbroken to function. Uh, the, uh, your arrow clinks into the wooden crate that she's hiding behind. Karma's coming home to roost. <coughs> I yell Hanzo out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your turn? <laughs> I cast silence on Boyer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, so this guy uh, comes around the other side of the tree again. Uh, and in fact, is just going to run up and engage you in melee. Well, but I'm behind the tree now. <laughs> Whatever. He flanked around. He was on the backside. Hold on. What is it? My movement speed's quartered. Okay. I remember that. Move 10. Uh, what? So this guy thrusts at you with his spear. My base is 35. Oh, shit. Yeah, he, uh, oh, he runs up and jams his spear right into the side of your torso. Oh, you got me. Uh, as you withdraw, it, you can see some blood coming out of the, the hole in your armor. Why is everything going wrong now? <laughs> <laughs> Edra Hill. Kill that fucking shaman. Alrighty. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna roll up on this shaman. The thing that we got. Yeah, we're good. That's uh, that'll be twenty feet, right? No, no, it'll be fifteen to get to here, right? No, it'll be ten. Uh, that was ten feet. That's uh, just ten. Over okay. That tree is difficult terrain, though, so that counts as ten feet for each square. 
Oh, uh, so 20. So how much did I use to get there? You used 20 to move over the fallen tree. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I get up in close, and I'm going to start uh, attacking. Now, I don't get sneak attack here, right? Oh, no, I... Uh, yeah, I no. do. Wait, I do. why? Because I am solo. a swashbuckler, and I get sneak oh, attacks when I fight someone right. solo. How is that? Uh, yeah, you can see her crouch down behind this crate. Quit looking yeah. at me. Quit looking at me. Surprise, motherfucker. Target her and let's do this. Don't look. I need to target her still. Oh, God damn it. Uh, you hit her, though, so you can target her and do damage. All right, yeah. She's targeted. There's the damage roll. That's a six. Plus a sneak attack. That's pretty good, too. <laughs> and then I'll swing my other sword at her. Yeah, I was going to say, you got anything else? You could probably finish this. Yeah, I got to uh, put in minus four, though. Yep. Minus four. No. Oof. No. Oh, nothing terrible happened to Ed, huh? Uh, <laughs> so you come around the side of this box and uh, are able to plunge your first short sword into her and then swing with your offhand, but she's able to, like, move her head out of the way and you plunk the, the point of your dagger, dagger into the box. One of y'all's carrying me. And this is over. I'm strong enough. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Is that your turn? To fall on yeah, my uh, No, I'm gonna. Uh, so that's uh, difficult terrain, right? The fallen trees. Yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna move this way just to try and get. Okay. I think that's the minimum. But yeah, I disengage. And, well, not disengage. I just uh, move over there. Alrighty. All bricked. Smush. I looked I fell. Yeah, go, uh, go help, uh... I, I'm fine up here. You guys clean up. This tree, I've spurned this tree. God damn it. Are you there, Keto? He's on the phone call, he said. He might still be. I'm gonna take this opportunity to pee, then. Mm. <laughs> that boy... Always on the phone. Very popular. Very popular. I can't believe I rolled two ones on an advantage roll. The worst thing that could ever happen. Yep. <laughs> Maybe Harshnag will carry me. I'm sure he will. Like a ride on his shoulder? He, he could probably just put you in one of his pockets. Yeah. Oh, that'd be... Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's Chihuahua. <laughs> I'm going to try that shit. I'm going to ask him. Can you carry me in your knapsack? He doesn't have to do that, all right? I don't want to be degraded. Just let me sit on his shoulder. Lorgar can probably heal your fucked up foot. Also, we're riding on horses. This is a sprain, not a wound. We dismounted. Yeah, yeah I know. But our horses, you know, we can just get back to them and oh, put yeah. her on a horse and <laughs> just lay me across it. This never happens to Theralis. You're right. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> She's never, ever, ever fucked up. Not once. Trick question. She has never. She never attempt, uh, attempts anything. To... That's true. <laughs> See. She's related to you. Though. You yeah. back? You know. Say, Hear him. All right, I'm just gonna go for him. That was just Sagan pissing. Oh. Yeah, I'd say just go for him and 
Mm -hmm. Attack the nearest uh, dude. Uh, yeah, he's busy. stepping up here and he's going to attack this guy. Get him. Put him in the ground. I threw it in the ground. Well, oh, man, he misses. <clears throat> Doesn't he have two attacks? That's a good question. Yes. Pretty sure barbarians yeah, get he does. Yeah. I won't hit. There we go. Hey. Put him in the ground. Oh damn. What? <clears throat> uh yeah, Albrecht uh kinda like sidesteps over and swipes once at this guy and he kind of like does like a backwards like matrix dodge, so Albrecht just brings his axe down into the guy's chest and plunges him onto the ground. Where he does not rise. Gross! <coughs> uh, Alright. Uh, pissing dude. <laughs> what you gonna do? He's going to assess this situation. And start running away. Fuck. <laughs> Smartest man. I have something to say about that. Uh, the shaman. Okay, so she is going to um, wave her, her hands around and uh, do a mystical chant. And uh, let's see. Oh, dude, I'm going to try out my new sword on this guy. That's what I'll do. Oh, Jesus, what is she gonna do? So, uh, she, she does some chanting and waves her hands around, and, um, from the ground, um, springs, like, um, spectral little, like, horned sprites, and, um, the fuck? and, like, uh, dark red pixies and stuff to kind of like start filling this area uh, uh, with their ghosts. And then she is going to uh, start hightailing it out this way. Logar, you uh, can move faster than her. <laughs> that, uh... Uh... Uh, Lorgar and Edrahill, you need to make wisdom saves. Uh oh! Is, does he count as uh, having plus whatever for the aura protection? How close? Uh, is what is your radius? It's like 10 feet. 10 feet. He's yeah, just he's outside it. He gets plus two. Um, he's just right. outside. Like evasion can help with? It's a, that's dex, not wisdom. Yeah. You can't oh, yeah, get wisdom. You're right. Yep. <laughs> that's just. Well, uh, that's okay. You make the save, Lorgar. I not. mind died. For once, I finally made a fucking AOE save. I'm Jesus. proud of you. Well, I'm <laughs> proud of you. Time. I'm pumping my fist from the base of this tree. I <laughs> always get hit by these. Uh, okay, so. Um... Uh, let's see. Target both of you. Uh, it says radiant, but it's actually necrotic damage. But she does 
Um, Ed, or yeah, Edra Hill, you take half of that, so you take nine instead. Is that being automatically deducted? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Um, then Lorgar takes the the full eighteen necrotic damage. Um, as uh, these these spectral entities all like swarm into you and start like poking at your mind mm. and uh, and flesh alike. Rude. And I can't use uh, what's it, uncanny dodge, right? right? Yeah. Um, from where I'm standing, can I see both of these leftover tribal warriors? Uh, you can see the one that is attacking Lena. Um, not the other one. You saw him running in that direction, though. Alright, is there any way I can kind of try to position myself so I can see both of them? You can just get that other guy. I'm gonna sword fight. I can move pretty quick. I'm the 13th warrior. Um, yeah, up there you can see both. Alright. I am going to use... Mana magic. Two sorcery points to quicken hellish uh, to quicken scorching ray. And with my action, I'm going to cast my first scorching ray at this guy. So I have to roll three attempts to hit because there's three <sighs> rays going to come at him. Okay. So first one is not nope. going to hit him. One more. Okay. So he's going to get 2d6 damage. Boom. And then All the right, other you, guy. Uh, you run up um, to the back side of those trees and see the guy attacking Lana and just extend your hand without thinking and cast Scorching Ray in his direction. Uh, two of them going wide and the last one hitting him in the back. Great. And then my last one, my second one is going to go for this guy. Why is it not targeting him, right? That yeah, says you're targeted to me. Okay, so do you just want me to roll damage for that one? Because that was an 18. Or it didn't even pop up, did it? Nope. Alright, let's try again. Okay. There's one. I'll do the damage for it. There's another. Hit. Boom. And then I guess I'll just... Could I do my last one at the other guy? Because there's one more ray? Or do you want me to go ahead and roll it for the dead guy? No, it's still going towards the dead guy. All right. It didn't roll. Yep. Get him. Shaboom. Uh, yeah, that dude is super on fire and dead. <laughs> Good. And then... Uh, yeah, and your bolts impact into him and his clothing catches fire almost immediately and he's just uh, riding around on the ground screaming as he burns. <laughs> Gross. So that's... That's one action, right? Because... I quicken, or I, I uh, quicken the spell, so I did an action and a bonus action, and I've don't, moved 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, I'm, I'm bloodthirsty. <laughs> I must slake the, I must slake oh, my yeah. blade's thirst for oh, blood. Yeah, still good. Good blade. Yeah, not evil oh. at all. Oh, he just totally wants a Capri Sun. <laughs> totally not evil blade. Just over here drinking a little death. Don't mind yeah. it. Blood thir did I say bloodthirsty? I meant seven up thirsty. That's not bad, right? I'm just mopping up. I'm hasted, so I might as well. Uh, yeah, so that guy um, was kind of like turning so he could see both you and Lena after your firebolt impacted his back. Uh, but it opens up his defense, and you're able to just rush in and plunge uh, Ashroom, like, right into his side. 
uh, and then withdraw it, and uh, he, he screams and goes down and begins bleeding out in the snow. I had my sword out. Uh, I see Lena not in the tree. I kicked the ground with my bad foot. <laughs> Did you fall out of the tree? It hurts. <laughs> I left the tree to get a new perspective. Is this make, perspe- make a perception check. <laughs> I will make a perception check like a motherfucker. Let's see this. Oh, <laughs> see a broken branch laying in the snow next to Lena. It's okay. We all fall sometimes. <laughs> and then I wink. <laughs> and I'm cool. done. Fucking carry me. <laughs> I'm mad. Okay. I'm um, gonna move my hunter's mark to this wench over here. She's getting away. I'm uh, gonna move right here. I've got her targeted, right? And I am going to just smack Make her. Make a wisdom save before you attack. Will do. Because you're starting your turn in that field. Right her. I'm fucking wide. Nice! Uh, unfortunately, that means you only take half damage, but... I'm fine with it. it feed the damage to me. Oof. That's rude. Alright, so you take... Uh, 8 damage. It's dead. I'm not gonna hit it with my hammer. No one escapes justice. No one! Right, you hit her. <laughs> Get fucked on. Uh, yeah, how do you want to do this? Um, She is currently running from you. I would like to, uh, in my high speed, basically run up her bat and smash her head in, like, a goddamn taking down a deer at at running. This isn't anime. It is. (laughs) This is my anime. Yeah, you fucking, uh, you catch up to her magically and just fucking, like, overhand your hammer right down into the top of her head. Uh... And you can see uh, her head sink into her torso as her body is carried forward from the bottom of the run and topples in a This is anime for me and Logar with Pino Yasha running. I'm just uh, gonna <laughs> move out of this, uh, like right over here, out of this goddamn evil necrotic thing. And yeah, the then. Get out of there. I mean, it's can gone I, if she's can dead. Can I lay on my Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the. The evil little pixies and stuff all start fading from existence. Okay. And can I heal myself with Lay on Hand? Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm totally gonna do that. And... If this actually works, I'm gonna be impressed. Good. Good. Cool. Okay. Knock two of them off. That worked great. And I'm done my turn, I guess. I'm gonna say. Oh. We're done. Let's I'm gonna uh... sheath Ashrune and offer to uh, let Lena lean on me. Kind of <laughs> limp her forward toward you guys. Uh-huh. The fuck were those fucking pixies? Those things are creepy. They were total bullshit. Evil. Evil. That creepy. Techless. I'm like still like sh- like like brushing off my arms and my legs, like worried Techless. there's still one of them on me. We have what to is... check the carts. Mm. Well, let's get you over there. Let's check your life. Uh, and then, as uh, you guys finish off. This yeah. isn't a fucking sack race. You can do it yourself. Just put me down as, somewhere. Uh, <laughs> as, as, I know. Uh, the combat kind of settles down. Um. Harshnag like hefts his, his axe up onto his shoulder and kind of like surveys the scene 
uh, and then gives you all the okay symbol, finger to, th- <laughs> to thumb. <laughs> I give it back to him. I do it back. <laughs> Same thing. I, I do it with my free hand. <laughs> I'm going to move here and put Lena uh, uh, by this box. These boxes. <laughs> yeah, I'll, just, I'll, sit, just, on, I'll sit down here gonna, and take a look at she's, myself. She's going to sit in the box. Hey, what Can happened? Like, Did you fall out of a tree? Sprint? Yeah. She totally fell out of the tree, guys. I'm gonna yeah, come over. <laughs> Try to. I, you, you should be careful. I guess time. my own hands just does health. I'd have to cast restoration. I don't. Yeah, can I split this up or something? Um, you can use uh, I think like five HP from your pool to like cure poisons and stuff of that nature. I would let you cure a spring with that. I'm not poisoned. Though. Let's do it. Okay. I'm saying that for the purposes of this, you could use yeah. that same. Yeah, you can what either just do take? straight damage out of your lay on hands pool, or it's like a yeah. minimum, like he just uh, said. Minimum. Lorgar uh, puts his his big scaled hand onto your your leg, and you feel the warmth of the energy uh, pulse into your leg, and then it I try feels not to read too perfectly much fine. Into it. <laughs> it uh, <laughs> your leg feels great now, though. Great. I'm actually fine. Um, four damage. <laughs> I'm gonna start investigating this wagon. Yeah, right. let's see if anyone's alive or what's happening. Everyone yeah, make what? an investigation check. Yeah. Motherfucker. For real. What the hell the tip of there? Time. Parsnag just walks over to the side and hangs out leaning against the tree. I'm like, I'm not familiar with this technology. Uh, I find out anything and everything there is to find out. Yeah. Good job. Glad we have him. I see. I, my yeah, focus has been turned on. And stuff. Yeah, so uh, you guys inspect the caravan. Uh, there appears to be no survivors. Um, there, there. It looks like there was um, uh, like a merchant or trader uh, and a few bodyguards, and a lot of the materials in the uh, the caravan look to be like shopwares. Um, a lot of them uh, appear to be like adventuring gear, though. So you have like a selection of like standard weapons from the equipment table and armors and stuff like that. Um, in addition, uh, you find some stuff that I'm going to dump into the uh, party oh, sheet. Shit! You know, say so anything that's here, I find it. I I find. I see through the the fucking earth into the core. <laughs> Elementary. Oh, a rod of Vonandod. <laughs> Those I added earlier. This is all <laughs> stuff in the bag of holding. Okay. A large tome. What kind of tome? What's the orb? Uh, it appears to be magical in nature. Ooh, can I inspect that? This magical tome. I mean, yeah, it's in the party sheet. You can just pull it out and stuff. Um, there's uh, uh, several items uh, that you come across that uh, appear to be more than what they appear to be. I want to look at the orb. Is that an arcana check? What is that? Look at this glowing orb. Uh, yeah, make an arcana check. Screw you, glowing orb. You look, you look not cool. Uh, yeah, you are actually totally familiar with these. Um, they're kind of a, uh, uh, like a, a toy almost, uh, like, they're common enough that you, you know what they are, you know that it is a drift globe. Huh. Nice. What is, uh, this book? I'm looking at its description. It just says it's inlaid with gems and gold filigree insider pages that are a thick vellum of the highest quality. Uh, that's what the uh, Drift Globe looks like. Ooh, I want one. Ooh, cool. How many are there? There's one, but it's for Sorcerer, Warlock, or Wizard. Fine. No. Uh, it, uh... Anyone could use it. I you just keep the light the around you? Uh, like, a, a Sorcerer, Warlock, or Wizard could use it as a spell focus, but it's not... Like, it's just a magical item that you could use for what it's used for. Lorgar, I hurt my foot. Is there yeah. anything you could give me to make me feel better? Well, let's look through all of this. I mean, kind of like this, because <laughs> I'm Let's not... make an arcana check as you're inspecting this book. Yeah, <laughs> and the ring, too. We gotta look at There's a thing about rings. It says fairly plain ring. God damn it. 
Uh, you're not sure what this is, but you know that it's magical in nature, and if you wanted to use like an identify spell on it, you could figure out what it is. Um, all I have is detect magic. I don't have identify itself. Um, but I can do that <laughs> as a. It. I can do. I can do that as a ritual. I have the detect magic ritual. Can I look at it? Um, yeah, detect sure. magic would just tell you what you already know. Uh, if you wanted to like study it a little bit, you could probably Sagan. figure out what it's about. Yeah, I'll just spend some time looking Sagan. at it. Sagan, I see it. All right. <laughs> no one else does though. All right. All right. What else are you looking at? I'm gonna look at the same um, ring. Yeah, we can inspect that ring. Do uh, we know what these make Arcana checks? Do we know what those potions are? Oh, critical fail. I have no idea what it is. Neither oh, do you. God. Uh, I got a 17 on the ring. <laughs> it's a ring! <laughs> uh, Teclis, you've, uh, you've seen one of these before during your time at the uh, the Arcane Covenant, and you know it is a ring of jumping. Oh. Ooh! What? It's a ring of jumping. Oh. I'm keeping it. Okay. Does anybody else want to jump real high? Well... I mean, I like to go in trees a lot. But I mean, uh, you, you also uh, if found you think what you, you need to jump more. You found I mean, what you recognized was uh, three superior healing potions as well. You don't oh, need to nice. roll for that. Sweet. Um, uh, there is another potion that you're not familiar with, though, and uh, a small bag full of beads. You know what? Fair What's enough, it? Lena. And then I give her the ring of jumping. So what does this do? Can I look at the beads? Is there anything about them? What does jump do? It just makes you jump. I don't have to climb trees. It casts the jump spell on you. I can jump on them. The the creature's jump distance is tripled until the spell ends. It lasts for a minute. Is it? Does it work for height too? Does it? Does the ring have charges? Uh, no. You just use it whenever. Bonus action. Oh, Nice. nice. We can only target yourself. That's all right. This will be good for some second story work. Yeah, as long as it'll get you up into some vantage points. Right. I'll make Arcana checks for the beads. Yeah. Let me see. Is that in the party? Th- uh, I don't know these beads. I got an 11. No, I'll take that. I don't know what these beads are. <laughs> Uh, Lorgar, when you were uh, going through uh, the uh, the academy, um, you just happened to remember uh, a lecture um, where these beads were talked about uh, as being used by some nefarious types. Uh, you don't remember what the lecture was about, but you remember these beads, and they are beads of force. Hmm. Hey, who's holding on to the superior ho- healing potions? They're just in the You're bag. In the bag of holding right now. All right, cool. And then you just have the the unidentified potion. Is that our counter check as well? What's the identified potion? Yeah, can I take a look at that? Smell it or um, something? Yeah, yeah. Make a, uh, a survival check. Whoa, those beads are awesome. Whoa, these things are fucking amazing. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you uh you uncap the uh the potion, um and kind of like sniff at it, and it's uh it's acrid, but you're not sure what it is. In exchange for giving up those that ring, I would like five of those beads. What do the beads do? They, <laughs> they do a lot. They are, they they are really good. Awesome shit. Does, is, what, do you know that? Is this something we've discovered? Or yeah. You know yeah. Right? yeah, he just looked at it and then told us what it is. I didn't hear you because I was looking at the potion. I think we should just dole the, the party out. sheet now. You can pull up the uh, description. I mean, oh, yeah, we yeah. could do that. How many are there? Thirteen. Yeah. Oh, the oh the beads of force. Yeah, give everyone give everyone two and yeah. keep the last one in the box. Sure. So we each take two. Tackless the extra one. He's yeah. yeah just he's give me it. just give me three of them. All right. So we each take two. So have I noticed that the uh, bright thing is gone yet that I looked at earlier? What the fuck is that? Oh hey. Oh, uh, what back. bright thing? Yeah, that was a long time. The, uh, the bright globe that I identified earlier. I noticed Oh, the got. drift globe? Yeah. You know where it went. Uh, it is not in the bag anymore. Um, did anyone see that drift globe? It didn't make it to the bag. 
The potions of superior healing, I suggest go to the people who spend the most time in combat. Yep. Like in up close combat. Yep. Like I'll me, I got myself, Lorgar, and Albrecht. <laughs> hey, I got stabbed yep. today. <laughs> you guys are going to roll for it? No. I don't know if I need it. You guys can you have can it. I one. can heal. Right? Yeah, that's true. You got lay on hands that you can do to yourself. So you guys should just keep the heals. I've still got, yeah, I've still got greater So, what is an Albrecht take one? I'll take one, and Idri, he'll take one. Yeah, that makes sense. And where, um, is that in the party inventory? Do we yeah, want to give one? Sheet. Do we want to give one to uh, or, uh, the giant? As are we talking about? Okay. Uh, what are we talking about here? Superior you... healing. Okay. Also, make sure you take your two beads of force. <laughs> Those beads of force are so dope. So yeah, my jumping, are what's, so my jumping distance is doubled? <laughs> tripled. 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 What was it before? Just the same as my... What was it? But you have to evoke it, right? At the beginning? No, no it's just a no, bonus. Yeah, it's a bonus action to activate it. What was the ju- What's the base jumping distance? Oh, that's a good question. Let's find out. It does it affect height. Thank you, Teclas, for turning me into Spider-Man. You're welcome. I'm gonna do some cool flips. If we ever fight, like, if we just save this beats of force and just wait till we fight some giant fucking like, and we just all just start game. tossing them. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just. <laughs> Sorry, <guys. laughs> like, just what we should do is if we know we're gonna get someone like that, give them all to someone, and they just grab them all in their hand at once. Just give throw. give me all the beads. I use the ring and I jump over the top of the guy <laughs> and drop him on his head. <laughs> just throw uh, him like in a spread motion. So it's just this huge area. That is I just destroyed. I just do like a fucking slam dunk with him. Space Jam. Okay, so um Basically, if you're making a, a high jump, it's normally uh, three feet plus your strength modifier. Yeah. Um, when you so long it's... jump, uh, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score um, if Wait. you move 10 feet uh, before the jump. So you can, you can so jump a start, total of... With a running start, I could jump three times my strength score. Yes. Fucking shit. <laughs> You have to have ten feet to run up. That's a I long. Tried, that's a long I jump, tried, not a vertical jump. I know, but I I want to try it out right now. <laughs> Don't break oh, okay. your ankle again. I'll be fine. It's good now. <laughs> I want to. You, wanna, uh, you wanna, activate your ring. I want to jump along the road, over, Albrecht's head. <laughs> I can jump. What is it? Forty-eight feet. <laughs> Is it 48? Uh, Three times 16, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. The running start, I could jump 48 feet. And you said the height was what? Base of nine. So you could, you could jump to about to where Harshnag is from uh, where my pointer is with the run. I want to stand in front of Harshnag and just jump straight up and look him in the eye. Uh, okay. What is your total height doing that? Uh, well, you said it was the base is three, right? Yeah. Times three, so that's nine plus my strength mod? Uh, yes. So that's going to be 12 feet. Or no, you would, uh, so you'd add your, your mod first and then triple it. Or what double it or whatever it was. Oh, add it to the, so because it's, that's six, your maximum so it's height. six times three, it's 18 feet. All right, yeah, you can jump 18 feet. So I, uh, yeah, Which, yeah, I, gets you up eye level with him. Hey. How many times can I cast it? It's at will. Bonus action. I'm just, I'm just doing it like a pogo stick. Hey! Hey! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather up here? He, uh, I, he holds what? out a hand to high-five you. Why I do, do I it. Have... I, high-five hard, I high-five him. You, uh, you jump up and slap five. Uh, your hand um, like just kind of like fitting neatly into like one of the lines in his palm. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I'm just Why is this? Um, is it because of the book I'm carrying that I have this little <laughs> me now? Well, what? Like, there's a thing around my token. I don't see it. A little circle. I that's see it. No, that's because you have it selected. Oh, it's because you're you have your you're mousing over it. You dork. That just shows you your uh, your threatened squares. No, 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 no. It is a circle that goes just barely beyond the edges of my token and has a cross. Uh, White lines, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That is just showing it selected, I think. Yep. I have it on, I click on myself and you. Techless. Uh, Speaking of which, um, you spend some time flipping through that book. Okay. And, uh... Oh, boy, make a wisdom save. No. (laughs) The, uh... It appears to have like a lot of um, like instructions on exercise and healthy eating and things of that sort. Something you need. Um, after after a little bit uh, and like looking through at like future chapters and stuff, um, you identify this as a uh, uh, shit. What is it? Is it the one scambling out? Um, oh, it's because it's in your inventory. Yeah, I took it. I feel like, I feel like I've heard of this book before. Uh, boom. It is a manual of bodily health. Oh. You could probably increase your con with that or something. That is indeed what it does. <laughs> you spend 48 hours or six days or fewer studying the book's contents and practicing its guidelines. Your constitution score increases by two, as does your maximum for Ooh. that score. Hey, 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 hey. That's not bad, because since I'm up close now, I could use more hit points. That would be me to 16 con. I put both my hands on Teclas's shoulders and I look up into his eyes. Teclas, mm. this is a kingly gift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you like it. Does and then anybody... I jump over his head. <laughs> does anybody mind? Somebody's... Does anybody Damn. mind if I use this book? Sure. It will. My, magically... my constitution's thirteen. I mean, it's not great, but it's well, not what's terrible. What's your constitution? Let me see. Who needs it? Mine's 14. Well, but you don't have the lowest. Don't have the lowest. Who's got the lowest? Who are we looking at? Ed and Lorgar. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Con 13. Lorgar 13. Yeah, that'll put you guys up to plus two. All right, which one of you wants it? I'd like it. I'd say give it to Ed. I hand it over to Ed. Lord knows he I... can to be a little oh, strange. Let me, solemnly let me, accept let me move the it, book. Let me move it from my inventory into the party. It, yeah. it won't make you any stronger. And I, I should have a very dirty look. Too late! I jumped over here! <laughs> <laughs> There, it's in the uh, bag of holding now. Uh, and I move it into my inventory. So read that shit up. Yep. This is amazing. I can just jump on top of buildings now. All right, let me see here. I'm a ninja. This book contains health and diet tips, and its words <laughs> are charged with magic. You spend 48 hours over a period of six days or fewer studying the book's contents and practicing its guidelines. Your constitution score increases by two, as does your maximum for that score. That's good. The it's manual only loses its magic, however, it regains it in a century. Oh, well, then we'll just so give it to me, and I'll yep. use it later. <laughs> so uh, I, I solemnly take it from Teclas and say thank you. Uh, Jeez, you know, Teclis is just giving out all kinds of gifts today. And then I, uh, I guess I will start using it, and then I don't know how much. All I really to... wanted was that so place. basically you'll need to uh, like calculate the hours you spend reading it. Okay. Um, which uh, I would allow you to do during like casual travel because you're just sitting on a horse. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is I'm sitting on the horse reading it. Um, or like at night since like. 
because it ignores right. anyway doing watch and stuff. Um, but it's got to be the 48 hours in less than a week to gain the effect. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to start devoting every available hour to reading it. No, all right. I've got a ring on each hand now. Should we give these merchants a proper burial? Likely. Why don't we do that? Because the last time you tried to give a burial, they ended How? up spread out across the road. <laughs> I and said who, burial, not who funeral ended up fire. with the bright globe? How about we have what? him dig the graves? Who ended up with the bright globe? What bright globe? How about insight check him? Okay. I don't have it. You want me to deceive? Yep. I'm just playing dumb. Oh man, my rogue training didn't come in handy. Len is full of shit. <laughs> Lena, do you have something to tell the rest of us? Try and catch me. <laughs> Lena. What? <laughs> Bonds of trust with this party. <laughs> I can, I can just. Uh, what would your father think? <laughs> what would your father think, Lena? You really need it. It's a magical item. We should consider it through the party. Who knows what the effects could be? I know they have many, just from what I know. It just looks like a toy. Many dangerous things look like. You're a toy. <laughs> I'll jump on it you and track like your life Super Mario, Mario. and can be set to hover and follow you around. So it creates a source of light for the. It player. actually yeah. makes the most sense to go to Lorca because he does not have <laughs> fucking uh, dark vision. Oh, Dragonborn doesn't have dark vision. Nope. nope. Oh, then yeah. Give no, he is blind as fuck. <laughs> No, he and Albert. So having that actually makes perfect sense. Oh wait, sense no, Albert has way. those goggles. He's got the goggles. Yep. That's right. The guy's got the goggles of dark vision. Yeah, yeah, zigzag. Yeah. That's a, a lore guard. I I zigzag, I zigzag jump. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop you've jumping. Got, you've just... gotten, you've already gotten the toy. I know. Today. I'm having so much fun with it that I can't stop jumping everywhere. I just shake my head and think young elves. Mm -hmm. yeah. horse. My head and give him <laughs> drift globe. Your father would be proud, but uh... yeah. And then I jump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we know everything that's happening. Have we talked to Harshnag? Let's uh, say good battle. Yeah, I, I really high five him. Yeah. Good yeah, Harshnag. he calls out. Not bad for small folk. <sighs> you think Harshnag would let me stand on his? Shoulder? We do okay. So we keep on at this point. This is just a. I mean, we've we fucking looted the shit out of this. We might as well get moving. We're almost a mirror bar. On horses. Was there any money? Uh, there was. It's in the party sheet. I can uh, distribute it. Mm. Wow. And then there's like some change left in the the party sheet because it can't. Let's get back money. on the road. We can't nice. be far from. We can't be far from mirror. We got so much money, guys. Ten platinum pieces. Yeah. Yep. Shit. All right. I'm fucking banking right now. I jump ahead. I say, Techless, did you have to give Lena that ring? <laughs> <laughs> um, it made sense at the time. <laughs> I'm just bounding down the road. <laughs> I'm attacking the cart. I hold I you hold think... my cape I hold my cape out behind me like I'm trying to fly like in Super Mario World. <laughs> I mean she has Are you to... running like in Yasha? <laughs> she has no, to get jumping. Like, she has you have to... your arms just trailing behind you, Doctor. I mean I don't she, I don't need to run. She she has to tire out eventually, right? <laughs> well you think like this is like, you know Sagan, can I roll to see if I never tire out? <laughs> letting the hind, Make a call like, save. Letting the hounds out for a real good run, right? All right. Let's we'll see. Ten. Uh, all this jumping How around. How long do I uh, go? Uh, you go for another hour, <laughs> uh, which involves you guys. Uh, assuming you're not going to do anything with the bodies, going back. Yeah. And up your horses. Quick, were we going to do? Were we going to give them a proper burial or? No, they're barbarians. Not the no, barbarians, no. obviously, but the oh yeah, people obviously who were murdered. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in my opinion, vengeance is done. I don't give a shit about their remains. But no, we should do it. We should do it. He's right. Fine. Okay. I'll stop you bound around for the entire duration of the burial. No. 
useless Lena. <laughs> the use the barbarians, the, the barbarians, <laughs> like as as they're digging graves, I'll just pile up the barbarians in a pile. And... Eclipse, can you do to the bar barbarians what you did with the bandits? It was quite God, no, I'm don't. no, I'm don't. not going to do that again. That was gross. Don't, you, don't do it. Uh, uh, I do. Once I once I pile up the barbarians, I'm just gonna cast a firebolt. Press a digit. Uh, firebolt. Firebolt. <laughs> firebolt. You sure not fireball? Just, you know, Maybe it's firebolt. Firebolt will just ignite them. Uh, yeah, you set the bodies on fire. Oh, let's fire get a move on. I don't. We don't need to stay for this funeral pyre. Yeah, I've gotta go return some videotapes. At Mirror Bar. At Mirror Bar. Very late. I just I'm bounding up and down alongside Harsh Knight. Uh, what about your horse? Fuck it. Yeah, we do have horses. horses. I'll uh, I'll tie the horse his horse to mine, and carry it with. Yeah. Until I get tired. <laughs> then I'll take a nap on the horse. <laughs> Wake up immediately start jumping again. It's the worst thing you could give me. <laughs> it's gonna, I'm gonna like forget about it. We're gonna be like inside. We're gonna be like in a house somewhere, and you're gonna hear, ah! <laughs> I hit the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> I uh, so you guys uh, ride along for another uh, four hours or so. Um, Andrew Hill for your reading. Got it. Um, how much does it, he have? How many? Bitch. He's forty-eight hours of reading, right? Yeah. With, within six, six days. days. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's got to read it in a week. Yep. All right. Is that uh, in uh, current position? Yes. Uh, uh, that is that is as far you get in the day. Fuck. So that's where you'll be making camp. All right. Is this long rest? I'm a sleepy boy. You should yeah. be. Yeah. Should be oh, back. yeah, definitely. definitely. Full health, assuming that we don't get attacked in the night. Oh, uh, you guys uh, yeah, take watches? It's still snowing now, um, even as it's getting dark. It is? Yes. Oh, that's right. And Sagan has that power to just full rest us. Make mm -hmm. the night, make it nighttime on the board. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, I need my heels. Hey, it's night it, with the campfire. If it's snowing, can I use Mask of the Wild to like hide in the snow? You could, yeah. Maybe I'll just hang out a ways away from the camp in case somebody tries to creep on us. If you want? I'll do that. You want me to roll it? Sure. All right. Let me get rid of this battle map. It's in put my way. the uh, put that that uh, orb or whatever in the uh, thing so I can transfer it if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll dump it in a second. Let me I'm go. gonna spend my watch just reading. Ooh, good plan. Can I uh, put stuff back into the party inventory? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, just drag it in. Can I just give stuff to Lorgar? I don't know. Why would I do that? I don't know. If you drag it into the thing, I can definitely try. Let me try dragging it onto Lorgar. Mm. Nope, didn't do nothing. Yeah, I don't see anything up here. I'll put it in the inventory. I like using the inventory as the, uh... Yeah, all you uppity elves that can see. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be on sentry duty. I'll be Octo Camo. And Albrecht with your goggles, your steampunk goggles. He's got to put this on his portrait. Yeah, put it on your portrait. Oops. I fucked up Techless. Fix him. So, has anything happened that night? Uh, no, the, the night passes without incident. All right, the next morning. It's just cold and right. snowy. Next morning, I start jumping. <laughs> yeah, Andrew Hill. If you uh, if you eight stop, hours, then you get total. four hours. Yep, I'm at yeah, eight hours we're total. We're still doing split cool. trance watches. <clears throat> we're uh, you guys uh, start packing up in the morning. How far do I jump today? Uh, you jump pretty far. <laughs> Shit. Um, are you just continuously jumping around? I'm just, I get it out of my system in the morning, and then it starts, the, the, the novelty of it has started to wear off. 
Uh, it does, and uh, when you uh, finally get tired enough to stop, you realize that uh, it's tired you out quite a bit, and you take a point of exhaustion. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I nap on the horse. It's still tied to Lorgar. Just drape yourself across it on your belly. <sighs> yep. I had fun. Did you long rest us, Sagan? Do I have, do I have to reset my spells in manually and shit? Uh, here, hang on. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. See how impressed I am. I just it's its turn. I can't wait to show everybody my new jump. Oh, in it does it automatically. That's so sick. Yeah. How do I get rid of exhaustion? Is it just one long rest? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you guys, uh, right along the, uh, the snow lets up around noon. Mm -hmm. Uh, the sky remains cloudy though, but now there's like a good, uh, a good like half a foot of snow on the ground. Ooh. Uh oh It's getting cold. Yep. Where are we at now? Uh, you guys make it to here. Ooh, we're close. Did you make it daytime again for my immersion? Yeah, please. My immersion... <laughs> See, how much better is that? Come on. <laughs> All right. uh, yeah, so the day remains cold, but it's not snowing anymore. No um, jumping today. You guys uh, continue on and uh, ride for the full eight hours of the day. I'm going to sing The Witch of the West Maryland. Go ahead, sing it. Yeah, sing it. Yeah, yeah well, sing it. So did I. The bar, the rowed shield, loud and cruel were the raven's cries that feasted on the field. Yeah. And back, water cool and clear, whatever cleared your wound. There's none but the witch of the West Maryland could make thee hail and so. And it goes on, it goes on for quite a long time. Keep going, man. That's a short song. That's all no, I didn't. To it. I didn't know we had a bard. Yeah, I didn't know. We don't, obviously. More like a bard. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I high five for <laughs> Horses are tied I don't see you guys have any cool traveling songs. Did what are you talking change? about? I, I sang Ninety nine bottles once. of beer <laughs> on the wall. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. Let's nope. let's get on it. Nine hundred ninety nine. Nine hundred ninety nine bottles. Keep going. Ninety nine nine bottle of good mead. Albrecht's good mead <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> now we're marketing. <laughs> you take one down, you share this it. This marketing. Five -star hey, are we <laughs> there yet? You share it in a responsible <laughs> manner with friends. You take one down, you sip it, and do not chug. Yeah, and you give it a five star right, review. Wait a second, how many hours? <laughs> are you yeah. hours? Eight hours of travel. Okay. Um, so maybe with your bitch ass con, it'll raise you above fifty one health. Hey. Suck my dick. Hey. It starts to get dark again. Oh, is it clear? Uh, or is it I'm close? pretty much lost in this book, you know, throughout the day. You know, you don't ever really think about it, but if it's really cold outside, the horse keeps your balls warm. I'm gonna, okay, um, and when it comes night, I'm gonna give Ashruin a nice good cleaning. <laughs> good old cleaning. <laughs> old, you I, uh, I turn my back, I don't need to see this. <laughs> I, what? I got bloodied in the battle. What are you, you going to clean it, just, it with? I thought it just like seeps out. You feel uh, appreciation uh, coming from the blade into your mind. Not evil. Totally See? not evil. What? And, uh, what? Like in being clean and sad? Mm -hmm. Are you going to like wipe the blade down and then... We, I cannot wait to get to a place where there's like a temple of the Raven, Raven Queen so we can get to the bottom of this and you could all I bet stop. You would. Breathing down my neck about the sword. I'm just saying, you got a weird sword friend. It's like a Tamagotchi that kills people. Well, I'm I mean, distracted and not even really paying attention to this whole... Yeah, just uh, to be honest, it's me that kills the people, and the sword is just the accessory. Oh, hey, does not night pass? Where are we at? Goddamn creepy ass. Yeah, we want to get moving. <laughs> the day... Long, the night is short. <clears throat> so how many hours of the day can I devote to doing this? Just all eight, as long as nothing's going on. Just eight. 
Yeah, eight uh, hours 24. during the day and then four during the night. Oh, hey. All right, so I can be one well. If you want to stay up like all night doing it, you can do so at the cost of exhaustion. Can I? Uh, no, speak I'll, I'll, I'll skip that. To Parshnag. What does exhaustion do actually? <laughs> uh, it has a bunch of different levels. Oh, this. Uh, uh, fuck it. Bed. No, I, I go to bed. Uh, so, so I get twelve hours a day. Is max? Yes. You're okay. running for twelve hours a day. I'm. This is really interesting, man. <laughs> Got it's got some hours yoga left. tips. Hey, Harshnag. Yes? What are you going to do when we pass through Miramar? Are you going to come with us or just skirt around the are we just move? Oh, we're, we're bypassing it, aren't we? It's right along the trail. We're on the road. I'm used to just finding my way around settlements. Okay. I don't want you to feel left Presuming out. Presuming you're not planning on staying in town, I'll just meet you on the other side. No, I'll hang, I'll hang out with you. Yeah, let's all go together. Alright. I mean, couldn't we just hit Mirabar on the way back south once we're done with all this? We yeah, are. We could do I heard that. that was the plan. Yeah, yeah we don't... It's it's probably going to be a, a long it task be... to find that guy. It shouldn't be too hard to just avoid the town as we go by. Just, I just didn't want to scare anybody. Same. I also don't, just don't want to draw attention to us. I cast Pass Without Trace on that <laughs> tag. It doesn't make a difference because he's huge. He gets plus 10. It's true, but he'll get plus 10. You don't, you don't feel the ground rumble as much when he wants. All right, well, uh, you guys uh, rest through the night and uh, press on in the morning. And uh, you uh, start catching sight of Mirabar in the afternoon the following day. Mm. Um, you can see that uh, there's uh, quite a few like uh, like houses and buildings <clears throat> set up uh, on this fork of the Marar River's um, up on like a little knoll. Uh, it has large sloped walls on the outside. Um, the uh, the base you can see of the wall seems to be as thick as like a uh, a city block in water deep. These are some serious business walls. Hmm. How high is the wall? Uh, the wall is thirty five feet high. When uh, can't I can't can't do then, that. Uh, <laughs> I was just don't no wall jumping. <laughs> do it. Oh, don't do it. Ed says do, do it. it. Ed that's says against it. that's against the rules, and of course he says that he's a criminal. Don't. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> that's true. When it's sort of uh, when the city kind of starts coming into sight, uh, Harshneck starts breaking off the road and heading south. Let's head with him. Yeah, uh, and he says that that we'll cross the river and then push around to the south and come back up on the other side. Yeah, that should Excuse be fun. Me. I shouldn't send us back too far. Just a little detour. Also, Sagan, not this game, but at some point, I'm going to cast fun. Kind of gay warhorse. Find Steed and make myself a gay warhorse. Sure. Uh, you guys uh, eventually encounter the river. You can just do it whenever you want, dude. I'll wait. I don't need it now. I have a horse. Which is, uh, the river is swift flowing, um, and does not uh, have, like, an immediate, uh, point of, of crossing. How and, wide uh, is the river? Uh, the river is probably about 50 feet wide. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, it's a proper river. Ugh. Um, you, can't, you can't jump over all your problems, though. <laughs> Again, now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not yet. Jumped over, jumped over easy enough. You'll get, you'll get it. Uh, oh, <laughs> very clever. <laughs> All right, okay. what are we, are we gonna afford it? Uh, uh, Harshnag, uh, uh, like, kind of comes up behind you guys as uh, you're like uh, surveying the river, um, and like grabs a uh, a large tree that's uh, sort of on the bank. 
um, and pushes it over, uh, its roots ripping up out of the ground, uh, and he says, get on. Oh, boy. You're a handy <laughs> fellow to know. All right, oh, well, God. what about, what are we doing with the horses? Ooh. He, uh, says, I could bring them over one by one. Thank you very okay. much. Thank Let's you. Let's do it. That's great. Uh, okay. So you guys all load up on this felt tree, and uh, Harshnag uh, lifts it up and settles it onto his shoulder and begins wading out into the water. This is this is this is hilarious. This is an experience awesome. we'll never forget, <laughs> boys. Uh, the water itself like comes up to like mid chest on Harshnag uh, as he's wading through. Uh, he seems to be like completely unperturbed by the cold of this river. He's a frost. Uh, it's just he? like lumbering along. Hmm. Yes, he is. I'm I'm um, having the time of my life. <laughs> yeah, this is so. <laughs> so, Harstag, you seem like a seasoned adventurer. He uh, he kind of shrugs, which like jostles your uh, your log a little Stop. bit. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says, "I've been around." Techless, maybe this way could wait till we're on the other side. I don't know, I just got bored. <laughs> no, you, you can you can go ahead. I'm not scared. Eventually, you get to the other side, and uh, he swings the uh, the tree around with you guys on it, which uh, kind of like jostles you around as you're swung around, and he places it on the ground. I hop off. And then uh, he turns around and goes back for the horses. What are you gonna? What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Don't distract him when he's doing this. Let's see, if, you know, maybe he'll tell us about himself, his past. That's an awkward oh. time for that. Yeah, wait till he's done with the oh, horses. Wait, 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 what what else are we doing? We're just so across the river. I was enjoying the experience of being carried <laughs> across a river on a tree by a giant because that's never happened to me in my life, Techless. I know, but you know, it just, it's like, what? You, you know, you're in a city, you get a guy who's taking you around on a cart. It feels cheap not to talk to him. You can feel Oh like my God, him. he is oh. not our servant, Techless. <laughs> Please do not treat him as such. Uh, on the far side of the river, you can see um, Harshnag is kind of like trying to uh, corral these horses together. Um, I like to show people the not to uh, with them. Not too great on the idea of him picking them up. Uh, but he manages to uh, to get to which he just like lifts over his head, like both arms fully extended, and the horses oh are like God. moving their legs and like trying to like move around and don't know what's going on as he's just walking them across the river. This is horrible. Horses can swim, guys. What are you doing? The river is strong. They will be washed away, and, and then they'll probably get exposure and die. Yeah, okay, the horses will probably die. Uh, so. They are horses, after all. It takes about half an hour for him to uh, to get all the horses back over to your side now. Do any of the horses die from fright? <laughs> uh, no, but uh, they are skittish now. All right, Techless, now's your chance. What? I like to show people that they're appreciated. Oh, so now you're just not going to do it? You're just going to... No, I mean, totally. And as we're traveling, I'm going totally. to ask... I'm going to ask Harshnag if he's ever been uh, part of another group of adventurers. Is he that? Yeah. Of course he is. Yeah, he's he just kind of nice. nods as he, he lumbers ahead, not looking down at you or anything. And um, he said, yes, once. Would we have ever heard of them? He shrugs, perhaps, but I don't like to talk about the past. I like to talk about the future. Why don't you okay. probe him more about the things he doesn't want to talk about, Douglas? I don't even know <laughs> that he didn't want to talk about now, so I'm... He does, he's not a very social giant. <laughs> How many giants have I hung out with? I don't know. A couple by now. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> exactly. You're not counting the ones we killed? We hung out with them. Hung them out to dry. Ooh. Uh, how far away are you? I put my hand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Leonard. Waiting. I will, I will give her a high five. Nice. I'm not going to look at her, but I'm going to high five her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Tech, let's take inspiration for that. <laughs> I'm staring until you meet my gaze. <laughs> Who's taking inspiration? You are, because you're the only one eligible out of the two of you high fiving. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got an inspiration high five. I'm still waiting. Just I did big it. Old, big old saccharine smile on the face. So you guys uh, continue on uh, south of the river, and uh, you cross the uh, the road, the long road, uh, early in the evening, and uh, make it to like here. So, so is there a road this evening? way? Or are we just following the mirror? You're following the mirror at this point. Okay. All right. Cool. I guess we're trekking it. Mm-hmm. There's no more roads to follow. Oh boy, we're off roading. Super cool. It's gonna be hard jumping from out here from here on. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine the further we go north, it's getting cold as fuck. Yeah, yeah but we. Uh, yes, this is true. It's um, like a fur in my armor. Yeah, we we all got our. At the end of the day, the uh, sky is clear, and so like none of the heat of the day is getting trapped under cloud cover. So. It, you suspect it's going to be a cold one tomorrow. We're wearing our bespoke winter gear. It's true, but you can still tell from like your exposed bits and stuff that it's pretty cold out. I'm just yeah. worried about Lorgar. I've got an inner fire. So... Oh, that's cute. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Yeah. Uh, you're where the arrow's pointing. Oh, it's hard to see. Okay, just so we're a bit east of Mirabur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can breathe day. fire, so couldn't you just warm yourself up that way? We should probably oh, just yeah. keep moving as fast as we can, so mm -hmm. we don't, you know, freeze to death and shit. Well, this is where you make it at the end of uh, that day. Alright. So you guys set up camp. It's called the night. Huge. Um... I'll say that day, Edra Hill, you only got uh, four hours of reading done just for crossing the river and all that jazz. Were you reading on the log? <laughs> no, I was not reading on the log. I don't want to drop the book. <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> all right, well, I'll still spend another four hours uh, overnight. Word. And that puts me down to 20. Cool beans. Nice. It's only been, what, like three days? Yeah. You might just finish this. That's my plan. All right. Anything pass in the night? Strange noises, odd smells. Yes, in fact. What? <clears throat> um, Lana, during your watch, add your hill while you're reading. Um, we're sitting back to back. Or I guess you'd be sleeping at this point. Yeah, I'd be I'd be meditating at this point. Yeah, so Lena, during your watch, um, you hear uh, a loud uh, roar issuing from the direction that Harshnag bedded down for the night. I use my primeval awareness to detect giants. I want to make sure there's still only one. Uh, yeah, you only detect Harshnag. Well, oh, can I go? And you can check hear like some branches and some trees getting rustled around as uh, something is going on in his direction, which is like a few feet um, outside of camp. I'm gonna go check on Harshnag. He's my new. This is way. Was this just them? Uh, is there... Yeah, the actually, roar. Yeah, it make, everyone, up? Um, make a make a constitution save. Everyone who's asleep. Do, do you guys all get plus two? If you're close to me, <laughs> if I sleep close to Lorgar, hello. Okay, right, I'm big, so I'm big 20, spooning Lorgar. Twenty-four all together. A second, hit mine. Uh, a big wow, nice, <laughs> snoozy boy. What about Al? Akito, Akito, con done. save. What? Con save. Oh. Nice. Constitution saving throw. Thank you for saying everything. Sorry. No, I needed it because I was <laughs> like... How are you tired? This is when we usually start. 
but it's Sunday. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't matter for working people. I also got to click around on here because, like... Do you work today, Kiddo? No. That's a check. Oh. Just add your proficiency. To add three. So, ten. Yeah. Or Edra Hill and Albrecht, you guys are awakened by this shouting. Um, Checklist and Lorgo, you guys sleep right through it. <laughs> You're too sleepy. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> I've, I've, I've taken off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys uh, wake up to see. Um, you just see like Lena scampering off into into the darkness. Um, Lena, you, uh, get them you up. Find get them up. Get your goggles enough. on. Because he's that? huge. You find yeah. Harshnag easy enough because he's huge. What's up um, and you can see that he is waving his arms around and yelling. Um, at uh, a dark figure that is now running away from him. I, I put hey, my goggles uh, on. Yeah, he drops his hands back down to his side and uh, and turns and sees you, and uh, and laughs and jerks his thumb over his shoulder as his bear. <laughs> I I kind of I, I, as he's saying that I kind of like you hear me like what's up. <laughs> I, I wanna, I wanna do uh, take another moment to try and sense if there are more bears nearby. <laughs> uh, you take a moment and uh, you, uh, you detect a couple bears, but they're pretty far off. And then there's the closest one that is running away. All right, I'm not worried about it. I jump up to high five first. Did <laughs> we not hang on? He holds up his hand room? and receives it. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad we got a thing now. <laughs> Oh, all right, so well, I suppose you're all right, then. I'm glad I didn't wake up. He nods and says, yeah, bears kinda, and shit. I kind of just mosey on back. These scrubs only get a short rest. <laughs> I can't you know, walk around. I only need four <laughs> hours. <laughs> I'm fine. All right, well, I guess I go. everything's back to normal. It was just a bear. Yep. And then morning comes. No, Theralis, don't shit in my boots. I don't want shit in my <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> He's the last one to wake up. We're all just standing around him. <laughs> I take a shit in his boots. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing my boots. You so? You sleep in your boots? You yeah. sleep in your boots? I sleep in my gear. What a fucking weirdo. I shit in his boots anyways with his foot. <laughs> I feel like he'd kick you in the ass. Shoving it in there with a the rod. <laughs> right. Let's get a move on. Come on. Yeah, you guys uh, get rolling. Mm -hmm. uh, you pack up camp, and uh, as predicted yesterday, it is a cold motherfucker. All right. Do we suffer uh, any negative effects? Or are we still uh, pretty no. well insulated? Yeah, you're you still fairly well insulated. insulated but uh, all like right. all of your breaths like coalesce in front of you in a cloud and shit. Okay. I'm pulling my hood what up. What can we get today? Don't forget to read your book. You guys, we get to you about here. Oh, man, we're just uh, right in the valley. Yeah, you guys, uh, as you're setting up camp uh, at the end of the day. I'm going to go grab a beer real quick. Hold on. All right, I get... Eight hours reading in. Yep. So what do you got now? Twelve hours left. Then I'll get nice. four tonight and eight hours during the next day while riding. All right, cool. And then you're gonna pass the book off to somebody else, right? Somebody who lives up. Yep. <laughs> cool. Thanks. I'll take it. You'll use it. Did you get two con and some health out of it? Yep. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be able to use it for a hundred years. But how much health yeah. do you get, Andy? Uh, I believe it it's just Econ. retroactive. It's your constitution stuff. So yeah. it's like you get more health in the future. Yeah. Yeah. I like guess you level up. It increases your your con score by two the and the maximum score. for that score. So you can go right. above twenty. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, I can go to twenty two total if I somehow got there. Yeah, like if you see, if he's got all of his ability upgrades on constitution, you can get up to twenty two. Yeah, but that would be a really dumb thing to. <laughs> Yeah. I practice jumping. 
<laughs> what? I don't want to fail. That's going to be the worst if I fucking, like, sprain my ankle again. I got to get good at this so I can use it. Like, I want to jump from tree to tree. All right, I'm back. What's going on? All right. You guys set up camp. And, uh... Harshnag is hanging out by the fire next to you guys. Are we, uh... Are we far, then? From the Oracle? We enter the Valley of Cadron tomorrow. From there, it'll be a treacherous climb for several days. Hey, Harshnag, do you like mead? He, uh... He turns his head to look at you, and, uh, he says, <laughs> I've never been one for alcohol in particular, but I have nothing against it. He's gonna drink that cask like a coffee mug. <laughs> Is there anything, Harshnag, we need to know going in, into, uh, this valley, other than the, the requirement yeah, are there any Are there any denizens of the valley we should be... He shrugs and, and says... Barbarians, beasts of every stripe. Nothing we can't handle. Nothing right? nothing is safe anywhere in the north anymore. Well, except for us. Hmm. Hey, Albrecht. Yes? Let him try some of your mead. He just said he's not... Ah, oh, jeez. It's just an offer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Not asking him to get trashed with us. Just you know, try it. Maybe he knows a giant friend who's pretty good in a franchise. Do you I mean, a cask of that mead would be like a beer to him. Do you want to be a mead? He shrugs and says that if you're offering, he'll try it. Try it. Here you go, buddy. Let's let's yeah, get the he two. He takes the cask from you and the uh, most loquacious people in the, the party. top off of it. Yeah, and, put them uh, and uh, takes a, a big gulp of it and then hands the cask back to you, now half empty. And he's flying uh, and also, off the walls. <laughs> he, uh, he just kind of like nods and says, Seems good. Yep. That's why it's <laughs> named that. People think I came up with the name, but nope. And after the <laughs> name, then. You called yep. it good mead because it's good. <laughs> yep. And also mead. Aren't you from a place called Goodmead? Yep, it's coincidence. You're a very wise man, Albrecht. Yes, indeed. I am. <laughs> what are you even reading over there? Yeah, what have you learned so far? Tell us about your diet tips. Well, you see, guys, <laughs> Is it back carb? in the day, we were all cavemen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. What do you need to do? No, no. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. I give, I give Ed some raw meat. Go on, eat it. Go I eat it. I, I grab it from her. No, I, I just chew it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> we have any more bear encounters that night? Where's the inspiration in this interface? You already have it, so oh. it's next to your portrait of the. Top it's of like the a seat. small little check mark. Oh, I see now. Okay. Yeah. Where's one? Does the night pass uneventfully? Are we bear bear attacked? The night passes uneventfully, and we're really we're passing into the valley of. Cadron next time. All right. For the most, for a treacherous climb. That was a good session.